Um, Good evening, and welcome to Reserve Inspirations D and D, where my friends and I play Dungeons and Dragons for your entertainment. I'm, as I'm well Aaron. as our own. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, my name is Aaron. I'm your Galaxy Master for the duration of the adventure. Uh, Andy and Kayla, our techies, are hidden in the background, making sure everything is running smoothly. Um, and for players, on my left, we have Lauren playing Tita, the Thrykrian Way of the Iron Lung Monk. Uh, Mike as Zox as a Yor, the Dalkin Divination <laughs> Wizard. It's my, my Iron Lung. Christina <laughs> playing Plonk, the Verdun Rogue Assassin. <clears throat> And our special guest this evening, Reserve Inspirations artist and friend of the stream, Sarah Doobie, playing Emmy, the Fire Genasi Bard of the College of Glamour. Um, yes, very exciting. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> That's bold. I won. <laughs> um, so as I'm as the normal, real winner here. <laughs> Uh, so, as normal, a couple of announcements. Um, stay tuned at the break for our Reserve Inspiration t-shirt giveaway. Um, we will be announcing the keyword at the break as usual, um, but we'll be leaving the comments <laughs> open through the remainder of the show, uh, so you can enter um, all the way to the very, very end, um, and the winners will be announced at the beginning of the following week's episode. Um, on uh, We are live Mondays at 7, Eastern Standard Time, and videos at YouTube around 10 a.m. on Fridays. And we also have video recaps uh, that you can watch, so you don't have to watch like 100 hours of previous content to catch up. I mean, but which you should anyway, because we're hilarious. Mm. Thank you, Lauren. That's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, as this is our 10th episode, uh, very exciting, uh, next week I will have a recap from episode 1 to episode 10, so you don't actually have to go back and watch everything. You it's like when the first one. episode of the new oh. season starts, and they're like, last season. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Is it a new season? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Every 10 episodes I'm going to do something like that to kind of give like an updated, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so last night... <laughs> Last night, Lauren and I hosted Reserve Inspiration's Game Corner. Yeah, we did! Uh, where we played Munchkin with Christina, Caleb, Mike, and another friend of the stream, uh, Kelly. Um, that one is... If you want to, you know how wild that bitch is. <laughs> uh, that's Love you! Has bought. <laughs> uh, the Munchkin episode will be up on YouTube uh. this Thursday. Um, around 10 a.m. as well. Uh, due to scheduling conflicts and general adulting, uh, we have decided, <laughs> None of us do that. Uh, Don't listen <laughs> We've decided to limit the game corner to every other Sunday instead of every Sunday. Um, so, with that being said, oh, I know. So sad. Um, game of Life will be played next, uh, and that will be I'm on October 11th. That which we play every day. Yes. <laughs> Uh, check it out. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, if you like to, you know, learn how to play games, <laughs> strategies, and of course, just watch us idiots play. Oh god, then you're like it. <laughs> that's really the best part of it. Um, I'm talking way too much, but I got a couple more things to say. Social media. So Priya is not here uh, at the moment. I will go over that. So um, if any of you are artists out there, and or even if you're not, and you just feel like sketching something out, and you, or if you think you're art, but you're not. Maybe <laughs> 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 you are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have an affinity for one or more of the characters and you'd like to make some fan art, please do. We always love to see that. Send oh, it man. to reserveinspiration at gmail.com. Um, and eventually, someday, when we have enough to make a video, we will make a little art video to put uh, at the break. <clears throat> um, will we, though? <laughs> Also, if you are enjoying uh, the stream, <clears throat> please like and subscribe on YouTube. It is free to do so. It doesn't really affect you at all, but we love it because it definitely helps us. So please do that if you don't mind. Um, and with that being said, I think I think we're going to jump to Lauren with an Earth fact. Are we ready? Earth fact. Earth, fact. Earth, fact. Earth, fact. Earth, earth facts. Earth facts. Um, so I learned something new with this Earth fact. Um, I hope you will also. Um, so we all know that Earth has the moon, right? Um, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a moon. All right, listen. Ooh, just one. <laughs> just one. Um, <laughs> well, so in that's fact, the <laughs> so that so this is what we're getting to today, Sarah. Um, so Earth actually has two additional orbitals. Um, so obviously the moon like physically orbits us, um, but there are two other um, entities that are very close to us. Um, one of them is called I'm going to butcher this. Cruinth or Cruinthy? I don't know. Um, which is sometimes referred to as our second moon. 
Again, I never knew of this, so I don't know who's referring it to it as that. Um, it doesn't actually orbit us, but it orbits the sun exactly the same. It's like synchronized with us. So like we go and it kind of just follows. So it's like we have like, it's like chasing us. Looks like it's just like, hey, you guys are cool. So I'm just gonna come along. Um, so there's that. And then the other one, <clears throat> which is much smaller, which uh, doesn't really have a name. Its name is AA29. Um, and it, <laughs> it orbits Earth in sort of like a horseshoe shape, so it doesn't go all the way around. Um, and every 95 years, it is at its closest point to us. The last time that occurred was in um, January of 2003, so it won't be close to us again until 2098. I probably, sadly, will not be here to see that. Um, I'll be over 100, so no. Well, I mean, maybe. You don't know. Um, scientists have suggested that we should explore it. Um, obviously, that hasn't happened yet, or you would have heard of it, unless you're really cool and you have heard of it, because I didn't until just now. But that is your space fact of the day. Fantastic. Earth fact. <laughs> Earth fact. Oh, Earth fact. Earth is still in space, guys. So technically, it's still a space fact. That's Earth fair. fact is like a subcategory of space fact. Fair. Um, so, you know, I know I'm always talking about the gamers there, um, but that's because they're great. Uh, <laughs> way to just get right to the point. Right no, it's not what you said that we left, it's the way, way you said, said it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, so, I, I know I talk about it, it's because it's great. <laughs> well, uh, the reason... They are, they are, though. They, they are. are. They are. They are. They are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the reason I'm bringing the, their greatness up. Uh, is because uh, I just wanted to let our viewers know, um, recently a new Dungeons & Dragons game has been started on Saturdays, run by Jesse, one of the talented Aww. Dungeon Masters uh, at, yeah, uh, at the Game Reserve. Uh, so his group is going to be playing every other Saturday at 6pm. Uh, the next session is October 10th. Um, so if you're interested in joining, uh, learning how to play Dungeons & Dragons if you've never played before, or you're an avid player and you just want to jump into another game, um, jump onto Facebook and search the Game Reserve, and then uh, just message James and he'll get you all set up and, and scheduled in. Um, yeah, so anyone else have any announcements you'd like to make? Andy, Kayla? Do? Uh, yes. Oh. Turn your mic on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Anyone else? <laughs> Please turn your mic on. That wasn't no. really an announcement, nope. but I mean, I guess uh, we'll Testing, like testing. <laughs> Good. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Well, with that being said, and no one having any additional announcements, then I'm going to say that it is time for a recap. Last time on Reserve Inspirations D and D, Minerva found herself captured by a group of bounty hunters known as the Obsidian Order. Her plan was to gain entrance to the lair and rescue her friend Diambra. Through persuasion, logic, and a bit of deceit. Minerva was able to get the leader, a hulking 13-foot-tall humanoid, to allow her to track down a previous member of the Order in exchange for their freedom. Meanwhile, Zoxaplonk and Kubrick scouted an area of Iskard Prime Mountain where they discovered an illusory entrance to the Order's, uh, to the Order's ship docking bay. And I gotta say, <laughs> Kubrick was really the one who spotted it, for sure. Um, <laughs> no, I'm rolling just my eyes so hard. It's no, I'm kidding. Zox. It was all Zox. Uh, <clears throat> um, so, uh, after discovering this, they, uh, flew back, scooped up Tita, who stayed behind to meet up with their new ally, Bernadette. They fired Janassi, who used to be in the employ of the Obsidian Order. Um, then they formed an assault plan and put it to the test. Battle ensued, and Zoxa threw himself into harm's way by misty-stepping into the, the enemy ship and killing the Order's thief. Uh, yeah, oh, that's what he was. <laughs> I was, like, uh, I was just was chucking darts at him. <laughs> uh, the tides of the battle soon turned, however, when the remainder of the Obsidian Order, along with Minerva and Diambra, came to the, I'm going to call them the O-squared, uh, O-squared's rescue. Obsidian Order, you know, O2. It's like mm. oxygen. Yeah. Uh, the, o the Order's ship... <laughs> 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 the Order's ship departed, leaving two members to clean up the mess left for the rest of the party. And that, my friends, is where we left off and we'll be picking up today. Uh, so, Sarah, it might be a little wild till you join us. Squizzy. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but right now, we're going to jump back into combat uh, where we were last time. So, I have some notes somewhere. <laughs> Are we going to have to re-roll initiatives? Uh, no, absolutely not. I have the initiative sheet right here. Perfect. 
I don't um, remember mine, so I don't. That's fine. Well, the last thing that happened was the ship that was docked in the, the center platform uh, mm. of this cavern rocketed out, mm-hmm. um, at leaving a large open platform. Uh, they just barely missed uh, your ship, the gunship 792, just barely right over, and rocketed off uh, into the atmosphere. Um, that left Zaxa. Yes, I see the finger. <laughs> My hit Ooh. points went back up. Refresh. No refresh. Because mine did that too. I believe on this thing it should say 16. <laughs> Fantastico. <coughs> okay, so uh, what was I saying? So uh, at this Zaxa. point, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so Plonk and uh, Tita are both enthralled by the bard like character. I'm just tripping out. I'm thinking Zaxa so. is kind of <laughs> standing over Tita at the moment, like, be like, oh, uh, can I get up? Um, and that is, yeah, that's pretty much where we left off. Uh, uh, Cooper is still flying the gunship 792. Uh, and Bernadette is still at one of the guns on it, and she is firing. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. No, not anymore. She was, yeah, no, don't shoot at us. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't shoot at us. We are starting at the top of the I round don't know that the with. Ship is missing since it flew by them. I would hope so too. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plonk. I like to whisper too. <laughs> Plonk, you are up first in initiative order. Yeah. Uh, you are enthralled by this bard and enjoying his melodious tunes. Yeah, I love it. I just need for you to make a wisdom saving throw for okay. me. Okay. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Which that's, that's I, have, thanks, I, I have it. Thanks, I have it. Yes, you do. I was saying it. Just trying to help. We should just whisper the whole time. Woo! <laughs> Negative seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, fifteen. Mm. I love how I have advantage on it, but I have minus one. Oh yeah. Uh, fifteen. Then you succeed. Yay! You, you snap Yay! Out, of, out of this fog that you were kind of in. <clears throat> However, that was at the end of your turn, so your turn is wasted. Great. Except you saved, so it's not really wasted. But Yay! after you. Plunk. That brings us to... No, uh, it's his turn. He enthralls you again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it actually is his turn. Yep. Uh, yeah. Basically, this, just, just the entire next hour is just he, saving and you're back. Saving <laughs> and you're back. So he notices that you kind of snap out of it and he, and he can he can feel the, uh, the loss of the control and he gets a little bit angry at that. Good. <laughs> um, and that's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> What's he, he says to you, you know what's funny about this situation? Absolutely nothing. I'd like you make another wisdom saving throw. You get advantage. Thank gosh. <gasps> Thirteen. Ooh. You find his uh, dr- very dry joke to be the most hilarious thing oh. you've ever heard. Great. <clears throat> and you fall to the ground, incapacitated, laughing hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, good one, huh? And he will uh, circle around and get up onto the main platform. Okay, that is uh, his turn. That now brings us to... Oh, Minerva is gone. That was the worst laugh ever. <laughs> I, hate it. I mean, it was pretty perfect. It was actually, yeah, it was yeah. like the, for the situation. Spot, it was actually pretty good. Uh, Zaxa, I do believe you are up next, sir. Oh, great. Cool. Uh, um, which I will say, Tita, you're on deck. Um, yeah. And then the other I mean, one. I have to save anyway, so I'm yeah. gonna... um, I'm still over Tita trying to wake him, correct? Mm. I would like to punch him in the face. What the frown, man? It will do zero damage. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Just don't throw my goggles. Well, um, I think he wants to like make contact with you so that I'm you trying to wake snap you up. out of it. It will literally do zero yeah. damage. Great. Yeah. Me three times. Uh, I have a plus one to hit. It does actually zero damage. You, you get advantage Mine does too. on the attack. Oh, because yes. she is prone, or he is prone at the moment. Yes. Is that unarmed strike yes. for oh you? God. Yes. That's also uh, mine. Um, so that's an... Uh, <coughs> That's yeah. an eight to hit. 
So you no. you punch her, uh, punch him directly in the face, but Tita, you feel nothing. Cool. <laughs> it's like just like a light like tap. He basically was like. <laughs> so cool. anything else, Zaxa? Trying to move. I only or... have I only have one attack, right? Mm. Um. Stab me with a dart. <laughs> Wait, should have oh, did that with me instead. Oh, I should have done that don't instead. Do I don't have any bonus actions. Um. It's just the hard carapace of Tita. You would like smack him in the face. It literally sounds like, oh! like it's like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nothing happened. Hit him in the face with your book. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep my eye on this guy, but still stay near Tita. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Tita. Yeah. Wisdom saving throw. Nine. Yeah, you are. Uh, you're still just kind of I'm like, zoned yeah. out. Yeah. This he's not even singing anymore, but the tune is just like rec- you know reciting through your head over right. and over and over again. It's cool. a wonderful tune. Um, <laughs> it's after, my new ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after Tita, the sorceress down here, if you could oh. uh, bring her up to the next uh, two levels. Oh no, down one. No. Uh, uh, one. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. She sees that you are standing there, Zaxa. Uh huh. Oh, no. Um, and she will. Oh no. She doesn't have much for Dimaggio, so. Good. Great for Good, Dimaggio. Good, because I'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she <laughs> will attempt to. Uh, please give me an intelligence saving throw. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, uh, what the? Both nat 20s. Ooh, I'm going to give you... Plus five. <laughs> I'm going to give you an if for that. So, yeah! so the double Ooh! nat 20s. Uh, yeah. I'm about to use what? No. <laughs> so you can feel her creeping into your mind and well, try no, to, um, try to distort uh, how, how, how you're seeing what's around you. And you just, you just kind of look back at her and say... You do your little mm-mm-mm situation, which I know you personally love to do. I do it with the mage hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, you you just you stave off her uh, her attack. I start punch him in the face. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> go back immediately back. Oh my God. <laughs> so Bernadette and Kubrick, the ship you see. Uh, starts to come through the illusion and just kind of hover on the inside so that I can see what's going on. Good, uh, good. And Bernadette is going to lay down some fire uh, at the sorceress right there. Get it, baby! Don't <laughs> um, What is his armor class? Oh, her armor class. Oh, yeah, she gets hit. Um, does she have a safe type? Nope, nothing. So she's going to take some nice damage. Take that. What were we hitting every time? 23 last time? Yeah. Yeah, that was Hasmot. Truck. That's better. Yeah. Loomis. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, a hefty, uh, hefty damage is taken. She sustains. She gets blasted with this radiant damage and almost like, like gets thrown off her feet, but she kind of recovers and is, is looking around. No, no, she's not getting... She, yeah, she recovers. He was she gonna... stepped back. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, uh, one foot just kind of... <laughs> Step back on that one foot. Um, all right. So after that happens, that is going to bring us back to Plonk. You are laughing so hard. Yeah. Um, She's I getting believe, cramped at this point. I believe She's you like... get a wisdom saving throw at the end of each turn. I need more. You know, same thing. <clears throat> Go, girl. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Thirteen. That joke really resonated with you. Yeah. And you just can't stop laughing. You're basically <laughs> crying at this point. Yeah. This so Tears funny. of joy. <laughs> <laughs> the bard. <laughs> the bard is going to take like another step forward. Oh, God. Kneel down and place his hand on some a crystalline screen and almost in the center of that platform. Mm-hmm. And uh, a device is going to raise up out of, yes, please, uh, raise up out of the center. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is like in the Santa Claus mm-hmm. when he touches the thing and then the North Pole comes. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, the 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 cylindrical pointy section in the middle there pointy thingy. begins to uh-huh. yeah <laughs> follow him pointy thingy mabob in, in the center there uh, begins to uh, kind of undulate and glow with uh, pretty much clear energy, but you can see the force of it just kind of... Uh, well, I can't see anything, because I'm... <laughs> and then... Same. It just... <laughs> rockets out in the whole cavern. And none of you seem affected. However, you see all of the lights and power in that mini ship oh, just go out. No! And all no! That, that is unfortunate. All the lights and the power in the gun... 792 go out as well. Do they fall out of the sky? They fall and slam into the cliff edge and begin to <gasps> over the edge. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How many pounds can this hold? <laughs> Bernadette! Oh no! I know. Bernadette. Hey, what about Kubrick? No, nobody cares about Kubrick. Bernadette! Oh no! <laughs> Bernadette! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh Kubrick's, Kubrick's. Oh, Kubrick's oh, Kubrick might get squished in there. Darn it. <laughs> Oh, Bernadette! Oh, no! <laughs> Are you good looking that up? Crap. So, after the bar, <laughs> does that. Zoxa, it is your turn. What are you trying to look up? Well, first I wanted to see if Mage Hand could hold the ship, but it's only ten pounds. So, no. And then I wanted to see <laughs> if I could feather fall the ship, but oh. no, it's it's creatures. Oh, damn. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> um well I felt immediately good when the ship came and shot her and then immediately bad when we no longer have the ship <laughs> uh, so that also doesn't work then correct yeah cool so we have no way out uh sounds fantastic so Unlocked. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch Tita again okay. because Tita needs to wake up <laughs> Just <laughs> All right, Tita. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, good. Yes. Four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is going really well. Uh, and, no, I, I assume you have nothing else. Do you want to move at all, or you should run next time and then jump. <laughs> Just try a different Throw approach. all your weight. Um, I approach. St- uh, can I try and drag him? D- there's nowhere. There's nowhere. Push me off the cliff, and then maybe I'll wake up from the impact. Uh, well, I'll try doing that next time. Because I have nothing. I- yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Well, you may not have to, because Tita, it's your turn. You make that wisdom save. That should be like your one of your best ones. It's only plus two. My best save is my dex. Oh. And strength is even higher than that, which is weird, because strength is, like, garbage. That's what, um, monks get. Yeah. Strength and dex. You're and a 20 you not natural. There yeah, you, know. you, this time... Like a spring chicken! <laughs> this time, T hits you. No. It doesn't Zox. do anything. No, oh, sorry. Zox. Zox. I, I don't know why I always mess with... Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> always. Uh, Zoxa hits you. You yeah, don't feel nothing. it. nothing. You don't feel it. But... <laughs> But then, the, what actually gets you up is the the, the crashing sound oh, of okay. the ship hitting yeah. and then cool. sliding down the, the rock edge. That and was you a powerful cut, noise. That was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect and I hated it. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Uh, but that is, that is unfortunately so... the end of your turn. <sighs> I know. I feel your pain. Okay. Oh, well, Do you? Oh, wait, I'm, no. a, I'm awake, but I'm not up. Uh, that is correct. Uh, the sorceress... Uh, chimes out. It looks like you're outnumbered and your ship is disabled. It might be a good idea to surrender. For you, man. And that's outnumbered? It's three to two! <laughs> well, Tita's on the ground. So, so is Pluck. I'm still yelling, For you, man! <laughs> it's like, it's, it's technically him. two people up and you. They're addressing you. Oh, I'm well aware. <laughs> I, know what I, I know what the situation is. And I stick by what I said. You see her um, begin to... You know to, what? I'm going to roll deception. <laughs> Ooh. You begin to see her uh, start to cast a spell and just kind of hold it in place to see what you're about to do. Okay. Uh, and what uh, did you get for deceit? Oh, were, were we serious about that? Because it was a six plus zero. 
It's a plus zero. Yeah. He's not actually deceiving anyone. Well, never. <laughs> never. <clears throat> Alright, so after she takes her turn, uh, Bernadette and Kubrick. Kubrick is going jeez, Kubrick is gonna try to uh, Alright, he this we didn't do. He's gonna release the legs. The, like the the landing gear to try to hold on to the cliff edge instead of falling off the edge. How? Meanwhile, it pushes him space. more off the what? cliff. Oh, like, there's no power. He's just sliding. No They're just sliding. There's nothing no. you can do. Um, so he can try. You have no idea work. what's going on in that ship, but he is doing something. Uh, and so is Bernadette because they don't want to die. Uh, at that point, Plonk, you're up next. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Beast. That that joke was so funny. So funny. <laughs> Still funny. Still so funny. I want to make sure that this isn't... I wake up and hear Plonk laughing and I'm like, oh, that felt so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Jess, you have an advantage? Ever. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. That I was, rolled an 11. Perfect. Thank you. Minus <laughs> one. <laughs> 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 Ten. Ten. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I roll. <laughs> uh, the bard is going to make his way over to where you are, Cooper. He's going to stay on that upper level, but just kind of get right to the top Cooper, of that what? step. Oh, sorry. Dude, what? I keep messing up names. What is going on? You've called me everything but me today. Hey, listen, I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, this bard fellow, who you don't know, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll call him number three. He's going to move up uh, yep, to roughly there, and he is going to... <laughs> you know he is going to yeah, yeah, I mean, well. uh, he is going to cast a spell um, right. and he, he says you know mumbles something under his breath and kind of moves his hands and waves over an area and That's centered awesome. on you um, you can't hear anything you try to speak nothing comes out it's just complete silence all around you that's fine uh, and with that being said, that's going to bring us to, uh, Zaxa. <clears throat> I'm upset. This is looking, it's looking rough. <laughs> Do I know that he's up? Yeah. Like, well, can't, well. He, when you when you came to, you were probably like, why is she laughing so much? <laughs> I said that earlier. I was yeah. like, what's so funny? <laughs> Yeah. But now there's silence. Okay. Um, okay, he's up. I need to run to the edge of this thing. Well, you can't see where the edge is. You don't know how big this the, this area of effect is, but you can move until you can hear. No, 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 no. Not for that. Oh. The edge, there. the ship is grinding down. Oh, yeah. Make your make your way down the little little steps there. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So how far down can I get? Thirty I want feet. To get... So just count each step as like a five. Foot Thirty target. feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 here. Right on the edge of that step. Okay. Cool. Can I uh, see the ship at all from where I am? You can see through yeah through the illusion to the outside, and you can see it's it's right now it's teetering on the edge. Of course it is. <laughs> Okay. Um, you got to make it suspenseful. Of right? course. <laughs> Do I think... Did I hear footsteps at any point while I was going down? My own footsteps. Or is everything still silent? Uh, no, because <laughs> the funny thing is you came around and it's still... That area is still where you are. Okay, I just if wanted to If you had gone straight sure. in another direction, yeah, you would have been fine. <laughs> you circled so right I'm back st- into it. I'm still in silence. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Get double um, move. I could double move, which I'm going to have to do. Yes, I'm gonna have to do that anyway. So I'm going to move down. How far out can I go without like sliding? Oh, it, you can go out to that edge. Well, not to the edge because that's where the ship is kind of teetering. But but like out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And the ship is what? What there? Yeah. Cool. Okay. And I would like to hold? Mm-hmm. No, I can't. Never mind. No. That's it. Unless you have a bonus that you want to use. No, I don't have anything that I can use. And Tita, I have some news for you. You are 
up and about at this point. You are no longer zoning, but you can't hear anything. Am I... I have, to, I have to get up, though. Yeah, so you, you, I think for you, you only take five feet of movement to get up, right? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, um, leap to your uh, clawed feet. Brought me up. Oh, you're so cute, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so hold on, because I can't even see. All right, Zox is down around the bend. Oh, Plonk, you're so far away. Um... <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, so what do you, you got like a lot I also got. How far away is Plonk from me? So when I was stunned, I got hit by the jets as they were taking yes, off. Yes, and you looked. Yeah. Um, um, I would say so if you went fun. like kind of next to your other ship that's right there, it would probably take you about 40, 45 feet to get there. What? Yeah, that's like. I'm just gonna run to block and then do nothing. But you have a 50 foot, no, that's, you have that's a 50 all foot speed. Five I know. feet to stand up, and you can get to her, and then you can do whatever you want. Um. All right. Yeah. 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 Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now, can I hit her to wake her up? Yeah. But like. With my baby arms, so it doesn't hurt. It's little baby arms. I feel like though, any. <laughs> Can I just shake her away? You, you are a weapon though, so. Can I just pick her up and do like a? No. I'm she's she's up. awake. She's yeah, just she... laughing. Laughing so uncontrollably. Right, so that, oh, I can't go anywhere. <sighs> if I oh no, the guy's up on the next thing. You yeah. don't. You all have potions, right? No, no, no. And oh. then if I tried to attack oh. the guy. Oh, can I, how yeah. far away was the guy? What if I don't go to the block and I go to the guy? Could I no, get to the guy? Yeah, but... What? Could I get to the guy? Uh, if you if didn't, I didn't go, go to Plonk? Plonk? Yeah, you could. You could have jumped up to either, either of them. Yeah. All right, fine. Screw that. Sorry, Plonk. I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> retcon. Retcon. <laughs> We're going to go over to him, and then I'm going to try to hit him with my axe. Go Look for how it. big you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can make a pickaxe attack. Attacks. Attacks. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's pickaxe. Nat 20! Whoa! This is how you all survive, is these nat 20s. So that's, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're going to do max damage um, plus the roll. So what is your... My damage for my pickaxe is 1d6 plus 2. So that's, that's eight, 8 plus a d6. 4. Okay, so that's 12 points of damage. And that's to the bard. So many screens up over here. Leave it for a long! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 12. He's just hot and bothered. <laughs> that vlog is... Uh, this guy, just from that one punch, is looking pretty bloodied. You just... You don't hear anything. You just go... And there's no sound, but you hear him like... You see him like... Oh, shoot! Can I flurry a blow? Can I keep blood, blood, can I just keep the blood just... <laughs> Wait, can I key point and then Floria blows him so I can hit him again right now? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, Floria blows. He hit him two more times. Yeah, right? two more times. Oh, all right, fine. Blows. So same thing, regular. Look at regular. Regular, but you wouldn't. Regular. This wouldn't be pickaxe. It's no, only unarmed. unarmed. Yeah. Regular. I mean, it's no. a bard, so. It's very uh, I rolled a thirteen. That just meets his armor class. Yes. Okay. I was gonna say, does bard have a high armor class? All right. Neither so of them then... do a sorcerer and a bard. So six damage. Ooh. All right. All right. Then do the last attack. Well, I want to know how deadish he, he is. He's single digit. Okay. So my second. Six. Mm, no. Uh, Was it a natural one? No, it was two. Oh. <laughs> so you get these silent punches in, or you get the pickaxe, and then you come in with a punch, and then you go for another one, and he knows he's going to go down if he takes it. So he just kind of like throws himself aside so as to not <laughs> take the damage. But again, complete silence <laughs> the whole time. The best battle ever. The no, best so battle weird. ever. <laughs> um, all right, so after Tita, it is the sorceress's turn. Um, she is going to do some things. Um, do some things. Stuff and things. She, all right, things Tita, she stuff. sees you uh, messing with her ally yeah, up there. Is. Uh, and she would like to... Yeah, I'm sure she would. Oh, she is. She's going to use up a, a bigger spell slot. 
Um, and I need you to make an intelligent saving throw, which I know is definitely your strongest suit. It's the, my least one. It's a zero bonus. <laughs> All right. Natural one. Perfect. These natural 20s uh, are going to be the yeah, reason you guys it's survive. It's all about balance, Michael. I had to just... <laughs> the so, roll before was a two. How was that balanced? Well, Tita, thing. normally there's not much going on up in your of mind. Of course not. Uh, but as you're making these punches against this guy, the reason why your last one was like so off is because you feel this just thrust of <laughs> pain in your mind. Okay. Uh, and you have, you almost keel over. You're able, like, you fall down to a knee, but you're able to get yourself back up. Okay. And you suffer six points of psychic yes. damage uh, as she she mind thrusts you. <laughs> Hell yes, she thrusts me. <laughs> uh, all right. So after that, Bernadette and Kubrick, they are going to try to do their thing. Yes, okay. <laughs> Zaxa, you see as you are coming up to uh, the edge of the ship, where um, out the back part where the uh, uh, steps come down, yeah. you see the two of them leap out and try to grab onto some rocks. Both successful. They're, they're. I thought you were both failed. That's what I thought. I was like, and they both just slide to their death. Right? Both <laughs> successful, and they're they're just kind of clinging and trying to, to climb up, but yeah, they're at the moment kind of useless. But the ship itself, as they leap out, goes. Oh. You see here. We just wasted down. all that money on the Except we're getting pieces. our money back. Yeah. Except Tita, you did not hear any of it. Yeah, no. Pardon. Good thing, good thing I took all my stuff out of it. Yeah. Last time we were all like, so I take all of my things and leave the ship. Yeah. I take like, literally all, all of us, my I take everything that I have. Plonk, we're back to you. Yeah. Oh, we have no food. Um, <laughs> hey, I think that other shower might be broken too. Um, probably now. <laughs> no, if there's anything that's not broken, it's, it's the, the other, other shower. shower. <laughs> <laughs> it amongst the rubble is just the shower standing up, like glowing. <laughs> everything, you know, just rubble around it. Fourteen succeeds. It's a success. Yeah. Yeah. You're good? Okay. Yeah. Uh, after that turn plonk, it is uh, the bard's turn, and yeah. he is hurt, and he is going to use his action to disengage. And he is going to try to book it around that pedestal thing. Um, and right yep, jump off. Let's make an acrobatic, see how terrible he does. Oh, please. Sorry. Okay. He lands there. Um, that's his action and uh, movement. Um, as bonus action, he, he's going to say, Number nine, please. It's all you now, and you see that she gets like a little bolstered by his words of uh, mm-hmm. his inspirational words. Mm-hmm. Um, at that point, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zaxa, please enlighten us on what you'd like to do. Um, Kubrick and uh, Bernadette are they're just hanging out, trying to climb, and you can hear them go like, go <laughs> get her, man. Well. <laughs> I literally see her. I was going to use Featherfall, but I then remembered I don't have any spell slots left. You have none? Zero. I used well, them we all last slept turn. In forever. So That's I used them right. all to kill the guy. The last <laughs> yeah. hit was me actually throwing a dart. Yeah, That's just right. like, oh, with his eyes closed, basically. Let me just see if I can get it. <laughs> um so I'm going to try and assist. Uh, oh my god, help Bernadette. With Mage Hand. Oh my god, that's not gonna help at all. I got 10 pounds I can relieve off of one of them. Let me just tug your shirt a little. Like, There's nothing else I can do! Well, that's better than nothing. Uh, but, but, uh, Bernadette, I'm helping. Yes! Not Kubrick? No! <laughs> um, so I, so I say, <laughs> oh, uh, which I need Bernadette. Galsbrahand, that's, that's what it is. <clears throat> I get my hand, and I'm trying to assist him. What the? Here's uh, Bernadette and Cooper. If you want to, actually, you can probably put them on the the cliff edge. Perfect. Oh, I gave you some sticky tack on your tablet, Mike. <gasps> She's oh, yes, so cute. If you want to use that. <laughs> She's so cute. She is. Where are they? Um, <laughs> they are right on the edge. Um... Ah, glory. <clears throat> You can use that sticky tack, like on the cliff part, like right next to where uh, Zaxa is, but over the edge. I'm on so the we edge. do that. Good chance, and oh, then... wait, how close to? No, 
know. Are they to me? Oh, they're not far. They're maybe like 15 like, feet away. Like there? Oh, okay. No, up, up. Like, like yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they kind of like the back was there. They I mean, left off and it slid off I, after. I don't have a rope, so. <laughs> well, why would we? We are so prepared. <laughs> right, why would I? So I, I wouldn't, so I don't have So a rope. are you casting Mage Hand to assist? <laughs> I, and, uh, I'm going to try. I don't know what else to do. All right, so that, can you stick that uh, Mage Hand like kind of on top of Bernadette? Hey. Beautiful. Watch your hands over there. Hands, Mikey B. Hands. Hands. Weird. Weird. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, what would you like to do? You did the, that is an action. Yes, and the the rest is just all trying to help. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're gonna go to the edge and kind of just do your best to assist and like, <clears throat> yeah, okay, um, perfect. So after Zaxa, it is Tita's turn. Oh, you got that you sorceress that and that bar. I know. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> so sad. Um, uh, the, mind, the mind spike spell that she used uh, was uh, only somatic. So you wouldn't have well, you wouldn't have heard it anyway because you were uh, in the silent spell. My... Um, how far can I jump with my jumpy thing? I, it should be under your features, and let me see. I can probably find it. <laughs> my jumpy thing. <laughs> my jumpy thing. Uh, features and um, traits. Oh, features and traits. Features and you gotta traits. go down to the race portion of it. Whoa. Standing leap. 30 feet. 30 feet um, high. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Long and 15 feet high. Oh, 30 feet long. So, so you can jump 30 feet. So if you, you can if land you get to like here, pretty much on top of her. From where you are and now. And then hit her. Well, we will do that then. We will jump Like a off. grasshopper, just swoop. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh no. no. Tita, no. Hop. Genevieve. <laughs> Land right on top. Uh, would you That's like, how it happened. Up, over, and then down. Would you like to use the your first, your action, to grapple? Because that is technically uh, a, an attack, so you could still do your flurry of blows after. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, make uh, an athletics check. Great. Oh, plus three, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, all right. Nine! <laughs> oh, that's close. Let me, let me check her. Uh, I was expecting, like, you two dominate. Yeah, yeah, let yeah, I see. know. Let me see. Uh, hers is... Six. <laughs> Total of eight! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I knew it was gonna be close. I didn't know how close, but okay. I rolled that, and then you said you had a nine. Right, I was yeah. like, oh, all right. Okay, so uh, yes. so you're on top. Okay. So now you can use your bonus action with a key point yep. to get two strikes if okay, you'd like. Hold on. Okay. I believe she's looking like she's perfect. Oh no, she's she took damage from the the blast from Bernadette. Well, now this would be at advantage. It is an advantage because uh, she is prone on the ground. You're grappling. Nineteen. Oh, thank God. Yeah, uh, plus four. Yeah, All right. Three. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so. Get her, Tita. Get her. So, a da- <laughs> so five damage. Five DiMaggio. Got and it. And then I get to do it again, yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is the max damage you can do with an unarmed strike? Thirteen. That's not the max damage. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Six is my max damage. Uh, okay. Uh, sh- you hit her. Oh, okay. The thirteen, yeah? Uh, five again. Five points. All right. She is looking so bad. Like you don't even think she's gonna be have the muster the strength to be able to get up. <laughs> Her next turn. It's all you. I got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, I like, knew week waking him up was the idea. Oh, Tita. Tita that was the plan. One. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was like, "You got this." She's like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Spring." <laughs> Uh, Bernadette gets advantage uh, with the light assistance to help her get up. Let's see. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Uh, oh, she makes no progress even with advantage. I rolled a one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> Kubrick, on the other hand, he doesn't get advantage. Let's see how he does. Not 20, right? Yeah. No, he didn't did that 20, but it's, it's plenty he enough. He sprints up the side yeah. of the mountain. Just... <laughs> you, can, you can bring Kubrick up. Um, and then he's gonna move uh, one platform step up on there. Yep. So I'm gonna help. Gross. What else are you gonna do? Help? He's just gonna. He's just gonna look at you. Is he gonna put his hat on? 
See, but, oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, hold on, let me see if the, uh, he wants to do something else, because he might have uh, the ability. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me see if he wants to do hat. something else. Cooper has to put the hat on. He's like, Kubrick, yeah, he gets to there. Where is the you got the little sword, right, Kubrick? He does. Um, I have a sword. But have a sword. what he's going to do instead? <laughs> nope, he's useless. He's gonna use his action. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna use his action to double move to kind of get further up those steps. Uh, which way is he going? He doesn't. Oh no, he does know what's in here because he saw it in the He show. knows what's in here. Uh, he doesn't know where everyone is at the moment. He doesn't know the bards at the back. Last time he saw he was in the center platform. Um, so he's probably just going to go straight up this side. <sighs> he's got about 30 feet of movement. So let's, sorry. Let's well, you've been laughing yeah, so hard. Now you're exhausted. exhausted. I know, I'm exhausted from yeah, laughing. All that laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Look at him, this stupid Cooper, hat. He, he runs up there. He pulls his rapier out. And he's like, TT, I'm coming. I've got your back. Yeah. <laughs> on top of this bloody <laughs> paste I'm like, now. Little too bro. <laughs> By the time you kill it, he'll be like. Oh, but the funny thing yeah. is, he yells that out. You don't hear it because he's in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I still in the silent? Or no, am I you're not. Of... You're out of it. You're oh, so I made all the noise. All the, that was like great. squishing. Just. <laughs> well, she didn't hear you coming because you were. The I was in the yeah. silent thing. <laughs> Oh, Alright, so after uh, bu- 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 uh, after Kubrick Oh, what's-her-face is going to try to throw you off of her because there's nothing else she can She's barely got strength. It's going to be a disadvantage. So if you'd like to roll either uh, an athletics check to keep continue that grapple. Take this sticky tag away from me. Uh, well, that's not I a get lot. so distracted. Okay, I, rolled a six. Was mine. I rolled an eight. Oh! You still, she's trying so weakly, but you just, you just kind of like, you know, straddle over, so you have all your arms I'm free, like, ready for girl, the next what, attack. What? <laughs> uh, and that's, that's all she can do. She can't do much else, so that is, it's going to bounce straight. back up to Quonk. Cool. I'm going to bounce up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got, um, what, 15 feet left? How far away is he from me? More than 15 feet. It- how far away? About 30. Cool. I'm going to hit 30. him with frostbite. Yes, I forgot you have cantrips. Uh, I have to make a, a save, right? Um, Yes, constitution save. I probably should have put it in the bag. Good for a bar. Of you. Uh, constitution. Yes. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I it's what, whatever I roll on the die is the uh Oh, because it's got a plus zero. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a 14. What's your DEC? It should be in your notes, not in your uh, what? or DC for that spell because oh. it's a homebrew yeah, yeah, yeah. thing that's not added in there. She's like, "Oh, let me scan my notes." It's eight and plus I'm your saying. proficiency, which is two, plus your charisma modifier. I'm your charisma modifier is four. Thirteen. Yeah, he he beats it. Um, which he just kind of he's he's running for his life. So you're you're you just you jump up to your feet and you aim straight out real quick, and it just he leaps and just barely misses his feet. Why do I try to do anything? <laughs> do you want to move? A move for closer. effort. You a also have a bonus effort. action. Oh, I can do I can move closer to do nothing. Well, well you could attack next time. <laughs> yeah. He's probably going to run away from you, yeah. so you should run towards him, so that way you're still close enough to do something. Okay, whatever, I'll get a little closer. Get all up in there. Halfway. Sure. Close that distance. Well, I also don't want to get close to him, because he yeah. can just turn around and then... Mind control you. But this me... time... <laughs> you're definitely, you're definitely going to save this time. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a bonus action left, if you want to do anything. Okay, cool. Uh, that's like, gonna be... there, what can I do for a, a bonus action? Yeah, it's like... in your things labeled a bonus action. Yeah. Oh, look. Nothing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's getting low on spell slots. Dash, engage, or hide. No, so, nothing. Okay, next. So you can dash as a bonus action. So you could probably get to him, right? Yeah, but she doesn't want to be that Yeah, close. but I don't want to... Why not? 
because I don't want him to turn around. Well, he can do that. Yeah, but he can turn around and do whatever regardless. If you get up to him and he runs, you get an attack of opportunity. Fine. (laughs) You don't have to do it. We're just giving you suggestions. No, it's fine. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Get it. Get a plunk. So optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Literally, the, the past, like... 17 like, turns. all last game, I could do nothing. Oh, no, like, we're oh, here. He, as, you, as you run up, he turns to you and he's like, you are the ugliest elf I have ever seen. Why he would have like, done it at any and range. there it is. No, he would have done it at any uh, range. Wisdom saving throw. Yep. <laughs> 15. Yeah, you succeed. Yes. You do not take the vicious mockery damage. I'm gonna suck it! <laughs> All right. After the, after the rest of his turn, he's that was his action. He is going to try to uh, leap off and run toward the door that's down there. Which can I also tell him I'm not an elf? Yeah. <laughs> Up. I'm not an elf. And as he's leaving your area, you can swipe out with your dagger if you want. Yeah. Then do it. <laughs> I will. Give Pokey a little, give a little stabby stab, stab get up get in there. Stabby death. 17. That hits, for sure. Get it, Plonk! Hazmat. Roll some damage. 1d4 plus 3. I don't want that. Listen to that. <laughs> Dude, that was for real. I looked that up. Don't roll a 1. Okay. I like I've only heard it like twice ever. <laughs> Did you roll a 1? No, I rolled a 2. <laughs> so 5 total? 5. He leaps off, and you just gouge down his back with the dagger, and he just lands face first in the ground, unmoving. That's my girl! <laughs> you give a little sass face. You're like, I'm not an elf! Dead! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny now, is it? <laughs> Zaxa, you're up. Um, mm. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, I need to. She, I'm going to keep helping her with Get this stupid out. thing. All right. How long does um, that last for? Make a strength check. What in a joff? Uh, duration one minute. Okay. Make a strength check? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Negative five. Oi. Uh, not a negative five. Just a regular five. Just a regular five. <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Uh, anything else, Saxa? That'll do it. <laughs> I've, I've done enough. Tita. <clears throat> yeah. You stand over this body, or you kneel over this body. Oh, I'm for sure straddling That is struggling her. and trying to get away. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, how like close to deadish is she looking oh, to me? Oh, very. Um, I can guarantee you, if, if you I hit, hit, she's dead. All right, can I unarmed is it strike? Two or is it one? It's three, but can she's I, got a plus two to Can her I damage. unarmed oh, strike and like just head smash her? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Whip with the with the her, uh, her fishy scaly skin. You just yeah. <laughs> into the forehead. Uh, 11? By the way, that is at advantage. Oh. Thanks. Sucks. 11? 11 to hit? <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, uh, her armor class is 11. Oh! So you hit. Okay. So now what? Is she you don't just... even need to roll. Oh, she's definitely You dead. just pummel her to... <laughs> 11? Yeah. I believe this is... Oh, yeah, yeah! And with that, 11? <laughs> the, threats, the threats seem to be neutralized. Except uh, Bernadette is going to try to get up again. You're leaving me. (laughs) Easily. Bernadette gets herself up with the help of of your your mage hand. (sighs) It's just stuck. (laughs) There's more here. But wait, there's more! And as she kind of lifts herself up to the edge, (laughs) she looks to you and she's like, Well, um, looks like I need to find another way off of this rock. Squeegee. Squeegee. Thank you. You and the rest of us. <sighs> well, you know, hear me out here. I might have a suggestion. I have a friend, and she owes me a favor, so she might be able to help. She has a ship. I'll hear more. Well, that's all I got for you. We have to try to find her and see, you know. Try and find her? (laughs) Well, you know, it is, um, hold on. It's, today is, uh, Fiesta Dog, so that means that people are going to work, um, and there's only one place that will find her. Who is speaking right now? Bernadette. Bernadette. That's not how she talks. (laughs) 
That, she's got a point. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry that you were confused. not wrong, but... No, yeah. I was very confused. Uh, she who was, was very tired. <laughs> oh, all of that. Um, she, says, she says, there should only be one place uh, that she we, we should be able to find her. Um, there she is. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you there. Okay. We, okay. we might want to think about resting first. If you think that you need some rest, then by all means, but... Perfect! That it's settled. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything on this person that I'm straddling that I could take from her? Um, oh, yeah. Make Loot an investigation body. check. <laughs> Loot the body. Great plus zero. Fantastic. He is! Put him in a body bag! Yeah! <laughs> Fifteen! Fifteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So kind of uh, the leg. moving your hands like through her, her robes and whatever to figure out what she has. You don't seem to find too much, but there's a few coins here and there. You probably, oh not, well, it's, you find a chip. We'll say that. You find a little chip. Um, I take the chip. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, on it is, uh, is uh, there's a number, uh, number nine etched into it. Okay. Um, nine. And then the robes that she's wearing are very nice. Very nice robe. Strip the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the hasbot. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe Bernadette wants them. <laughs> Are they covered in blood? <laughs> um, a bit. Good Probably. question. Uh, <laughs> solid question. I'm assuming you've been pummeling her face. Uh, sure. So yeah, there's, there's like there's a bit of there's a bit of spray of blood. The neckline that is, kinda, is a yeah. little. <laughs> Nothing, nothing a good press the digitation. I will take out. those oh. for Bruno. I, I got. I'll clean them up for you. <clears throat> All right. So you grab those robes. You can how strip those off of her. La- for a just related question, how do I later see if there is any money on that chip? Um, I have to go back to the marketplace thing and go to like the little bank, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can because I can I see Tita checking her <laughs> from where you are. Yeah. Okay, can I do that to him then? Yeah, of course. Cause I'm like, I'm like, ooh, that's a good idea. It's <laughs> like um, <laughs> in his butt. She can't see it. <laughs> if you'd like to make an investigation check as well. Sure. Oh, I hope there's money on my chip. You've been doing very good tonight. <laughs> Not anymore. Cue, cue the, I can't do anything! <laughs> right. Cue, you've been doing very good tonight. Oh, that one! <laughs> Seven. Um, yeah, feeling through the coat and everything, you don't really find anything. The only thing that you find, it, it's it's kind of hard to miss. Um, he's wearing a very gaudy ring. Uh, it's large, it's gold, it has gems all around it, um, but searching through everything, you don't find anything. It's just pretty much when you stand up and you're about to walk over to Tita, you kind of like step past him and brush his arm out and you see just the the ring, the gold glimmer, and you're like, oh, hmm. Mine. (laughs) Mine? All right, so you got a little ring. Um, Would anyone like to do anything else? Oh, you're in here. Well, I guess... We should probably go rest back to the rest of the party. Oh, you and uh, Bernadette? Yeah. Yeah. You make your way up. As- assemble. Tita Kubrick comes <laughs> running up to you with his, his rapier ready. He's like, I'm here. And he looks and the lady's just sprawled out. You've already got her clothes coming off and everything. And I look at him like, yeah, good timing. <laughs> well, sorry. I was, you know, falling off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makes it even worse. Oh yeah, that's why I do my best to wear it when I can. Um, Thanks for the help, bro. <laughs> Kubrick's like, ah, so uh, our ship uh, probably not functioning. Our ship is no longer at 24 health. <laughs> <laughs> no, the little pod is. It just has enough power. Yeah, that was a pod. Oh. That was a pod. The ship has a lot more hit points than 50. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, any what would you like to do? You can all gather up and, and whatever. Wait, what happened to the ship? The ship is like gone, gone? The ship like is that? probably about 500 feet down the mountain. It's so. kind of like wedged between some rocks. and. I just want to know if I could tearing. get a snack. Um, <laughs> I think we need... I think we need to find somewhere to go. Mm. Like, that's safe. 
We need to find a safe place so that we can sleep. Well, we have rooms for the next, like, I think, day. Okay, how are we getting there? Wait, we still have the cards? This place leads... Cooper has one and Minerva has one. two other entrances. So we have one. One. Okay, so let's find the other entrance. We gotta go before somebody else comes in. I, I, I feel as though the way that the other people would come in is, is potentially through, other through the other entrance. Because <laughs> we've only been in here. So we need to find a way out. <laughs> right. How far away are we from where we came in? Like from the main entrance, the the oh you don't know swoop in. Oh. no idea. Cool. <laughs> that has not been established yet. Kubrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As <laughs> Sarah can't even handle it. <laughs> Do you think you could uh, get our pod working? Yeah, probably. I'll check it out. He goes over there, climbs inside, starts looking at it. Ooh, man, that EMP really knocked out uh, pretty much everything. Um, it should take me a little bit of time, but I should be able to get it back up. Perfect. What do you mean by a little bit of time? I like that attitude. Uh, I'm doing I my like best. Your either, so. Okay, uh, a little <laughs> bit of time, maybe like an hour. Fine. So we're just supposed to sit here for an hour? I look over at Bernadette. And he he's looks at you and he's like, well, you could probably use a rest, right? <clears throat> yeah, but how do, we kn- how do we know nobody's going to come in here? We don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sh- short rest, short rest, short rest, short yeah. rest. Yeah. Bernadette, short rest, short rest, 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 short down. rest. <laughs> Everyone's taking a short rest. Hey, short like rest. Short rest. Kubrick will look at the lot of you, um, and he will... Why do I feel like that didn't do anything? Um, who's the worst off? Zaxa? Um, he is going to go uh, up to you, Zaxa. For, for a short rest, it will not give you hit, oh, hit points unless you use hit die to recover them. Oh, okay. Uh, he is going to come up to you, Zaxa, and he's going to put your, his hand on your shoulder and be like... Hope you feel better, man. And you feel you take one hit point back, feeling. One. That's all he has left. <laughs> Once again, useless. <laughs> Thank you, Cooper. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. And I'll, I'll, I'll be at the ship. So the rest of you kind of huddle up together. Take your short rest. Is there anything that you'd like to talk to or talk about in that hour? Um, damn it. Stupid one d six minus one. What do you think, one. Minerva? Hey, so how do I do my little rolly thing? What do you mean? So, if you want to do it, check one off. One. <laughs> and then <laughs> roll what it tells you to. Oh. And then Wait. you can confirm it and then add the hit points. What was it that you said? Eight! Yes! Christina? Wait. Alright, so now what? Just hit take? Wait, how do I do it? Quick short okay. rest. And then I have oh, to add the, the 12. I mean, you don't even have to go through it. If you just know what your hit die is, you can roll it and then add the hit That's true. Yeah, you can just do that. Okay, that's better. Like that? I'm feeling yes. much better. <laughs> much better. I don't know. Feeling slightly better. Michael. Oh, great. Mike. I was going to say. <laughs> Michael. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> is it. I like how we're the blind leading the blind. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's because they both have glasses. Yeah, because what are you trying to say? <laughs> it's the glasses side of the table. Um. Anything that you guys want to talk about um, while you're having your short rest? So 1d8 plus 2. I know that Plonk had said, Where'd Minerva go? Yeah, where, where do you think they took Minerva? Did did they have Minerva? I wouldn't have known I was in the ship. I didn't see her at uh, all. Because as they were getting in, I teleported out. Right. Oh. Yes. <laughs> was, was Minerva here? <laughs> Yeah, she was with them. Bernadette's like, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I didn't see her. Well, yeah, you would be. You would have been in the ship. 
That makes sense. <laughs> she left with him. Was Minerva here? Did I even see that? I'm saying she left I feel like Plonk, I Plonk and Titsi, you both saw Minerva so, come out and, and, and climb up away. a ship at least, at the very least. Did she say anything? Not to me. <clears throat> What'd you say to you, Plonk? I don't remember. <laughs> come on. Write it I down! You, no, <laughs> no, she she told you. Um, she said something she said, to me, but I was she like, said, like, not in, today. I was like, to some, she said, she, yeah. She, she just said, she just she said, said, like, not get away. Like, yeah, like, run get away. away. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. You're not missing anything. <laughs> but I, I believe the gist was stop trying to help me now, come for yeah. later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of thing. Well, it depends on who got that gist. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she, like, she said it to me while I was enthralled. So probably no I don't. <laughs> You I'm asking you in character. Still hear. Yeah. Yeah, so you could still hear her say that. Whether you registered it well enough, you don't know. Um, but, um, Bernadette will say. Did we see the other one with her? Um, uh, Diambra? Yeah. Yes, Diambra was brought up there as well. Okay. She had um, to go up first. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. Bernadette, she's like, um, not to uh, sound rude or anything, but um, I. Now need a new ride off of this rock. Um, I mentioned to Zaxa, I know someone who owes me a favor, might be able to get us off. Uh, if you're looking to um, locate Minerva, <laughs> I'm sure uh, I'm sure we c- uh, she would be willing to help you find her as well. Um, but that just means we have to go find her. I have an idea of where she might be, but um, I don't know for sure. I guess we're gonna. Go I've, find I've her. already agreed. We don't have a choice. Yeah. Right, it's like, well, once we are finished uh, taking this rest, and if if uh, Cooper can fix our <laughs> fighter ship pod, whatever you call it, um, maybe how are we, we can all fitting in this pod? We're not. We're not. <laughs> it's going to be multiple trips. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have a better idea? <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> um, okay, so you just cool. wait for your hour. Yeah. Uh, after yeah. like forty-five minutes, you hear Cooper from the ship. I uh, almost got it. Just gotta recalibrate the get the recalibrate the energy conduits and uh, what are the kind of cool words oh, that I got in here. <laughs> Uh, Tell me he says that. <laughs> <laughs> just have a, a list of parts. Like, like, oh, uh, uh, the propulsion <laughs> is damaged significantly. Flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. That's on my list, but that's not this issue. That's all right. Uh, so the, the hour goes oh, by. Cooper finally <laughs> he's, he pulls a lever, and you hear <laughs> the ship is just like barely hit, keeping itself up. Uh, uh, yeah. Stellar job, Kubrick. <laughs> you know, I don't get it. All right, all right. Isn't there still a clock around you guys? God, we're all awful? we're all on edge because Minerva's not here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Tita, please. Hey, uh, Tita, why don't you fly the first mission out of here? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> most certainly not the captain. Oh. I feel like uh, maybe we put this guy in charge. Who's going with? Why would you? Oh. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, I can't. Um, I feel like, I feel like somebody should stay behind in case anybody comes in. Like. Like permanently stay here, or no. like two people stay and then like, we come back for them. Y- yeah, if we have to take multiple trips and like we leave the weakest people behind, what is that supposed to mean? That makes no sense. You know what I, mean. <laughs> Burn. I killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? You, do? you don't know. She also killed a man today. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Part of dead is like, well, it might be a good idea to decide who leaves and who stays by their abilities. <laughs> Take out Darth. I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you got the 
crazy eyes, you can see all of the white. <laughs> take Zoxa take with you. Yes, it might be a good idea to split the skills. Uh, keep. You know. I mean, but I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> split the um, party! Split the party! <laughs> uh, Bernadette's like, well, um, you could head straight down over the cliff where the ship has crashed. Uh, it looks like it maybe uh, demolished a building, perhaps? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Is that going to get us out? <laughs> he's, he's just so dumb. <laughs> of course, he leads over to Sox. He's like the smartest person here. Don't do drugs. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Why are you asking me? It's her plan. My, my, my plan? I, I just, I don't want to leave like you, who have no capabilities at the moment, with someone like okay. Kubrick, who's also useless. Stop my guy. Don't <laughs> save your life Kubrick's or anything. Like, oh, what did you <laughs> say? Oh, okay, okay, everybody listen! <laughs> everybody shut up! <laughs> <laughs> she says it like five times. No one has no talked one hears anything. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> who's going first? Raise your hand. I raise all four of my hands. No, I'm just kidding. Just the two right ones. <laughs> so, so I mean, I'm driving it. Okay. Whoa. So who's going with him? Uh, I can stay or I can go. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, <sighs> Bernadette's that's like, well, I wouldn't mind taking the first ride with Tita. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> And she, she kind of winks, and then Cooper's like, well, obviously not alone. You need to bring two people down and then come back for the other two. Clearly, that right, just doesn't fine. make sense otherwise. Sasha can come too. Sit in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you go in the bathroom. All right, I'll go as well. Okay, go. Let's right. go. Break. Let's go. So it's who is it? It's Kubrick, it's Zaxa. No, no. It's, it's, it's Zaxa. Tita, Zaxa, it's Tita. and Bernadette. So are Plonk going. is staying with Kubrick. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Plonk. I'll be um, back so fast. I would like uh, a dexterity check from you. You have advantage because you are very good at this. Please, please, don't please. crash our ship into our other ship. <laughs> please hurry. Oh, 17, 19. All right, so you and Bernadette and Zoxa pile into this tiny craft. Uh, Zoxa is in the back seat and... Uh, <laughs> With all of our stuff fo- still in it. Fold it up. <laughs> In some weird pretzel. It's all contorted. <laughs> Bernadette has um, kind of just got her uh, shoulder, like her elbow on your shoulder as you're flying. Okay. I'm covered in my own books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, you make your way down to the other ship. Like I said, it's about 500 feet down. It looks like the ship kind of tumbled over some rocks and kind of slid a bit and then slammed into a building down below in Great. the main thoroughfare. Um, and there's now there's there's people just starting to surround it. Looking at it, some people, there's a couple guards that are trying to like figure out how they can get in there to see what's going on. Uh, there's other people who are trying to check to see if there's any, was anyone in the building at the time that it just could get destroyed. <laughs> Checking for survivors. Uh, but the streets are pretty busy. It's not like uh, the rest day where they they were empty except for a few tritons. The the streets are pretty busy at this point. Okay. Is um is our ship recognizable? to a normal person in any way like does it stand out it so your ship is a decommissioned ship that has been recommissioned okay. uh, from uh the galactic peacekeepers i believe it is something similar to that um and essentially Isaziel commissioned this ship for minerva's party so it looks very similar to the other galactic whatever people the ship that like we saw the that the galactic on? unrest neutralizers so the ship that we will. saw them leave on. Uh, no, the one that they left on is completely different. Oh. So. That's the Obsidian Order. Oh, is oh, there oh. any reason that anyone should think that this is our ship? No, not that you can think of. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> denial, denial, <laughs> denial. <laughs> Wow, what happened here? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, I will say, if someone is, uh, can put two and two together and, and they're kind of smart, they might be able to put together that the pod, pod that you're flying in matches that the ship. The missing pod and it's area missing, on yeah, the it's ship right in front of them the with a matching one on the other <laughs> Just side. Just don't land it 
near the ship. And, and you guys fly down and you're uh, like, wow, oh. what happened? Oh. <laughs> I basically park the pod back into the ship in a thin Where did this come from, guys? <laughs> So as um, you, I, I'm assuming you're gonna land kind of not next to yeah me. away, um, yeah. and you you can do so, um, and not a problem, um, and, and you you obviously have to go back up. So Bernadette will kind of give you a little, and uh, usher for Zaxa to follow her out of the the pod, um, and then you can go back up and pick the up the other okay. two. I will go back and get the rest of the team. In the meantime, is there anything you want to talk to Cooper about? No. <laughs> Silence, just look away from him. Who can like, so like, walk? And she's just like... <laughs> you you notice that every once in a while he like looks over at you to like maybe start a conversation and then you kind of just like turn more and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody... <laughs> like, me? I feel so bad for Cooper. Oh, of course. I feel well, so actually, bad no, for I him. <laughs> My character does not care. Does not, no. I know, you really do try your hardest, but no. So, you, you fly back up, yep. pick up the other two, Ooh, make your it. way down. The worst okay. part is, he's a really good pilot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just hate him. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like to do with the pod? Where, what, like... So when we go down to wherever you said, like, the area, like, is there a place that we can kind of be away and, like, hi- like I don't know, like, hide it? I don't know what the... What it's tough. It, it, you're pretty much in the streets because there's, like, the, the cliff edge. Um, it obviously juts out for each level of this mountain. Um, and it's, it's flattened. There's buildings built in everywhere. So on Iskard Prime, there isn't really a place to land ships. The pod is real small, so you could probably land it in the street if you want to get people out and then go back up. Um... But the Kubrick will be like, uh, Tita. Oh, on the second route. On the second route. He's like, hey, if you want, obviously we can't really park this in the streets. Uh, Can I leave it on a building or something? Yeah, you could. Um, I feel like we might get in trouble for that. But uh, I could just fly it out to one of the, the floating islands, one of the ports, if you want. And I can meet you wherever you plan on going. Yeah. That's what I was hoping that he would suggest. Kubrick, what do you think? He's, he's not the dumbest. Hold guy. on, hold on. You said it's Kubrick, what do you think? Yeah. He ran over with his rapier after she bashed that thing into a paste and was like, I'm the ready to fight. He's definitely dead. He's like, I so, got you. Like, wh- Kubrick is not the brightest. Oh, lies. No, he's not terribly in- unintelligent, uh, but his wisdom is not great. So. All right. So I will. Uh, he, he doesn't read people, though. Well. We'll go to where I dropped. Bernadette off, yep. and then uh, and Zaxa, and then I will get out with Plonk, I guess, and then he can fly it. Alright, uh, so where should I meet the group? Uh, I believe that's a question for Bernadette. Because we don't know where we're going. Hey, uh, Bernadette, where are we going? <laughs> well, um, there's a... That's why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Kubrick, are you familiar with the only bar that stays open during the work week? Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going. So I'm heading to the slimy lump. Uh, and she's like, she's like, yeah, that's the one. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. And uh, Cooper's like, Cooper nods and uh, gets into the driver's, the pilot seat, and flies off. Uh, it did turn a few heads that your um, pod landed in the street, and then twice, and then flew off. <laughs> Uh, so you've got you've got some curious uh, people. There's a there's a couple guards. They come. The two of them come over. Both Asimar, and they uh, look at the group of the four of you. And they, they, so, um, what's all that about? Hi, we almost died. <laughs> uh, uh, do you need help? Or? No, gotta go. <laughs> Uh, uh, Everybody walk away. I'm going to see if either of them are smart enough to put two and two together that pod matched the ship. We'll see. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Fantastic. If you need uh, assistance, uh, you can find guards, you know, any street. We're we're all around. (laughs) Okay. Thanks. Thanks Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys do such a great job. 
Perfect. So, just immediately start walking. Just, be like, I just, Bernadette is like 15 feet ahead of you all at this point. We're along with Plug. Like, okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Bye. Uh, <laughs> so. She will lead you, unless there's anything you want to do in the meantime, down to the slimy lump. <gasps> Wait, where are we? You are uh, on Discard <laughs> Prime. Um, one of the mid-levels. No, 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 I meant is there a place that I can check my chip and see if there's money on it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can Any vendor you can stop in. and, and Oh, check. can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. We don't need to role play. You can just punch the chip okay, in. Yep. Uh, I, it has, I just wrote down, it has 78 needs to do all the talking. credits. <laughs> I have 78 credits. <gasps> can I don't... get coffee? <laughs> Is there a place to get coffee? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, on the way, yes, of okay. course, of course. So you can, uh, it's it's only uh, a few, um, a few copper worth, so like pennies. On okay. the, I also so if I get a coffee for myself, oh, obviously I'm If asking. you're getting two coffees. Well, and Bernadette, if oh, you oh. like. Oh, Bernadette's like, I could use a jolt of energy, sure. Mm. Why not? Mm. Is she making fun of me? <laughs> Ah, uh, no, thank you. I still have my own chip. Okay. All right. So, how much was it going to cost me to get three beverages? Uh, three beverages will come to six copper, aka six pennies. Okay. Just a credit is a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so six penny, like I mean, really. Bernadette <laughs> leads you to the slimy lump like... bar, and it's. There's this, uh, there's not really alleyways per se on Iskard Prime because buildings are just kind of built into the edge of my coffee. the mountain all the way around. However, she leads you to a small gap between two buildings. It's big enough to fit just one person, like a very thin alleyway. So sketchy. There's like, there's magical lights, like the green lights to illuminate the area, except they flicker, even though they're magical, so they shouldn't, but they do. Um, it's just for ambiance. <laughs> and you get to this this doorway, and she kind of steps forward and opens the door to all of you. And what you see is, it is just, all right, so. It is a slimy lump. <laughs> it is a slimy lump. Picture the cantina from Star Wars. Uh-huh. Oh, you got God. that do, 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 oh, God. music going on. <gasps> yes! Um, and you see, you know, there's a band playing. Uh, there are tritons everywhere. This place is filled with tritons. Um, you do see a few cool. ASMR, but the ASMR you see seem to be like probably <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, they're probably alcoholics, and the fact that they're just slumped over a drink during work week and drinking. Okay. Um, and the the ambiance in the bar is just dim green and blue lights throughout. Uh, it kind of gives that slimy lump uh, ambiance, okay. little slime bucket ambiance, cool, cool, cool. and. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there you see a couple Janassi as well. There's a, a water Janassi um, that seems to be drinking his weight in some type of booze. Um, there is uh, there is are two fire Janassis in there. Uh, one yeah. is just sitting off in a corner, and then there is one head slumped down on the bar uh, with like seven bottles knocked over in front of her, just nice. snoring very loudly is at the bar. So- she goes. <laughs> and that is where we're going to pause for a quick break. Um, the t-shirt code word is slimy. S-L-I-M-Y. So if you're interested in one of our fantastic t-shirts, <laughs> please enter slimy in the chat. and We will be back in about mm, 10 or so, 10, 15 minutes uh, to pick this up with our special guest. <laughs> What do you want to know about me exactly? My name is Minerva, I come from the planet Isgard, and I'm very good at finding things. That's about it. Alright, fine. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm not necessarily a bounty hunter, but I do travel across the galaxy in pursuit of different targets. The galaxy is a very big place. There are many wondrous things, of course, but with the good, sometimes comes the bad. I eliminate the bad before it becomes a larger problem. I work for an organization called the Galactic Utility Intelligence Logistics Task Force, also known as GILT. Great name, huh? We're a rather undercover group, inconspicuously keeping watch over the many planets, pinpointing any threats that may arise and disrupt the safety of civilians. The majority of GILT is essentially a surveillance system that relays information back to our leader. 
However, when a threat to the people does arise, be it an angry monstrosity or an ancient fiend, that's when my team intervenes. We are a subset of GILT, known as the Special Protection Investigative Tactical Exploration Team, or the SPIKE Team for short. There are six ACMR on this team, including myself, each one of us with a different skill set. I contribute the ability to track down our target once we're in its proximity. I'm not bad with a blade or two, either. Working with the team is alright. I wouldn't call all of them friends, but they are the people I'm closest to. Whenever we're not investigating a galactic threat, we're most likely just passing time on our starship. For me, this mostly means I'm in our training room, running through various simulations to keep my skills in good condition. I also enjoy a good game of cards every now and then. However, for some reason I'm always quite bad at trivia night. So, I guess I'm supposed to be like... <coughs> talking about myself or whatever. I mean, I don't know, Green. I'm pretty boring. All I do is work and blow glass pipe. <laughs> I mean, with that, I smoke a ton of moss in my off hour. Pretty much working all the time, though. Come from a long line of Vaders. Uh, that means excavators? My family has worked for the deep organization for like hundreds of aeons. Oh, I should probably tell you what the spell that is, huh? Deep stands for the discovery, excavation, and expansion of pandemonium passages. We're a little more progressive than those other baiters, the dry green hierarchy of excavation mining. No one wants to work for them. Friendly pieces of print. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be swearing, green. So, back to my job. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. Kinda hard not to be when you've been basically bred for it. Got my great granddad t sith pickaxe right here. Which you probably wouldn't think by looking at me, but I'm a little quicker than most. Even got promoted to work dust detail. That's the development of the underground super tunnels. I know, far out, right? One time I got off draft green, came out in this crazy big moss patch, totally wild. Met this Formian, thrives and boards don't usually vibe green. I dig him though, we grew close. He's the Dren, the real Frelin Dren. Growing up, I lived in the small clan of Verdun. My ancestors were goblins who left their planet to live amongst elven communities. The relocation was hard for them. It took a while getting used to their new planet. But once I got the hang of farming, it was all uphill from there. I was never as good of a farmer as they were, though. All I wanted to do was play. Hide and seek or swing. It's kind of like capture the flock. Those are my favorite. I love the adrenaline I get from a good hunt. Waking up to your farmhouse engulfed in flames in the middle of the night, all you can do is run. When my village of Mandrakta was destroyed by a swarm of ravenous pixies, I had no idea if I would even survive. Racing out of my smoke-filled home I grew up in, I ran straight to the barn. Mom always taught me to keep a pack of supplies ready in case anything happened. Just grab your pack and go, she'd always say. So I did. And a good thing that I did too. Disappearing quickly was what saved my life. Since then, I've lost all contact with my family. I don't even know if they're alive. The small group of us that got out went to live in the closest elven city, Mitherndam. This is my home now, and I have to say, it was tough getting accustomed to the way of life here. They're not a farming community, so it was hard to find work. I didn't know what I was good at. I thought back to my time in Mindrocktown, and what I enjoyed back then. Then it hit me. I love the thrill of the chase. I can do that. Becoming a spy is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I have to say, it's a little bittersweet. Working for the royal families, doing a job I love, is like a dream come true. I couldn't be happier, but I'm only able to do so because of the misfortune of my village. I'm hoping my hard work will make my ancestors proud. Cycle 12. Strange looking creatures appeared today in the North City Square. These aliens called themselves elves. Their pointy ears and flowing hair intrigued me. They speak of different lands, impossible lands. Those without water, or those filled with fantastic creatures. I must learn more about them. Cycle 39. Each cycle since the arrival of the elves, the Dalkin people have attempted to duplicate their extraordinary effects, but to no avail. I reach my 40th cycle soon. Finally, I will be able to lead my own studies. Cycle 66. Without the elves' odd tricks, we have now resorted to building our own way to travel to other planets. The technology they seem to have is many cycles out of our reach. 
Even so, I believe there are other ways off this planet. Cycle 100. My excavation begins today at Zerathu City Ruins. Managing to rope in both Udila and Zixat into my hypothesis, I have much to discover. Not even the elves know what lies beyond the impossible depths. I know I will find answers there. What do you want to know about me exactly? My name is Minerva, I come from the planet Isgard, and I'm very good at finding things. That's about it. Alright, fine. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm not necessarily a bounty hunter, but I do travel across the galaxy in pursuit of different targets. The galaxy is a very big place. There are many wondrous things, of course, but with the good, sometimes comes the bad. I eliminate the bad before it becomes a larger problem. I work for an organization called the Galactic Utility Intelligence Logistics Task Force, also known as GILT. Great name, huh? We're a rather undercover group, inconspicuously keeping watch over the many planets, pinpointing any threats that may arise and disrupt the safety of civilians. The majority of GILT is essentially a surveillance system that relays information back to our leader. However, when a threat to the people does arise, be it an angry monstrosity or an ancient fiend, that's when my team intervenes. We are a subset of GILT, known as the Special Protection Investigative Tactical Exploration Team, or the Spike Team for short. There are six ACMR on this team, including myself, each one of us with a different skill set. I contribute the ability to track down our target once we're in its proximity. I'm not bad with a blade or two, either. Working with the team is alright. I wouldn't call all of them friends, but they are the people I'm closest to. Whenever we're not investigating a galactic threat, we're most likely just passing time on our starship. For me, this mostly means I'm in our training room, running through various simulations to keep my skills in good condition. I also enjoy a good game of cards every now and then. However, for some reason I'm always quite bad at trivia night. So, I guess I'm supposed to be like... <coughs> talking about myself or whatever? I mean, I don't know, Green. I'm pretty boring. All I do is work and blow glass pipe. I mean, with that, I spend a ton of moss in my off hour. Pretty much working all the time, though. Come from a long line of Vaders. Uh, that means excavators? My family has worked for the deep organization for like hundreds of aeons. Oh, I should probably tell you what the spell that is, huh? Deep stands for the discovery, excavation, and expansion of pandemonium passageways. We're a little more progressive than those other Vaders, the dry green hierarchy of excavation mining. No one wants to work for them. Frowling Peas is a friend. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be swearing, Green. So, back to my job. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. Kind of hard not to be when you've been basically bred for it. Got my great granddad T Sith pickaxe right here. Probably wouldn't think by looking at me, but I'm a little quicker than most. Even got promoted to work dust detail. That's the development of the underground super tunnels. I know, far out, right? One time I got off draft, Green. Came out in this crazy big moss patch. Totally wild. Met this Formian. Thrives and boards don't usually buy cream. I dig him though. We grew close. He's the Dren. The real Frelin Dren. Growing up, I lived in the small clan of Verdon. My ancestors were goblins who left their planet to live amongst elven communities. The relocation was hard for them. It took a while getting used to their new planet. But once they got the hang of farming, it was all uphill from there. I was never as good of a farmer as they were though. All I wanted to do was play. Hide and seek or swing. It's kind of like capture the fawn. Those are my favorite. I love the adrenaline I get from a good hunt. Waking up to your farmhouse engulfed in flames in the middle of the night, all you can do is run. When my village of Mandrakta was destroyed by a swarm of ravenous pixies, I had no idea if I would even survive. Racing out of my smoke-filled home I grew up in, I ran straight to the barn. Mom always taught me to keep a pack of supplies ready in case anything happened. Just grab your pack and go, she'd always say. So I did. And a good thing that I did too. Disappearing quickly was what saved my life. Since then, I've lost all contact with my family. I don't even know if they're alive. The small group of us that got out went to live in the closest elven city, Mithrandane. This is my home now. And I have to say, it was tough getting accustomed to the way of life here. They're not a farming community, so it was hard to find work. I didn't know what I was good at. I 
thought back to my time in the drop cow and what I enjoyed back then. Then it hit me. I love the thrill of the chase. I can do that. Becoming a spy is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I have to say it's a little bittersweet. Working for the royal families, doing a job I love, is like a dream come true. I couldn't be happier, but I'm only able to do so because of the misfortune of my village. I'm hoping my hard work will make my ancestors proud. Cycle 12. Strange looking creatures appeared today in the North City Square. These aliens called themselves elves. Their pointy ears and flowing hair intrigued me. They speak of different lands, impossible lands. Those without water, or those filled with fantastic creatures. I must learn more about them. Cycle 39. Each cycle since the arrival of the elves, the Dalkin people have attempted to duplicate their extraordinary effects, but to no avail. I reach my 40th cycle soon. Finally, I will be able to lead my own studies. Cycle 66. Without the elves' odd tricks, we have now resorted to building our own way to travel to other planets. The technology they seem to have is many cycles out of our reach. Even so, I believe there are other ways off this planet. Cycle 100. My excavation begins today at Zirathu City Ruins. Managing to rope in both Udila and Zixat into my hypothesis, I have much to discover. Not even the elves know what lies beyond the impossible depths. I know I will find answers there. What do you want to know about me exactly? My name is Minerva, I come from the planet Isgard, and I'm very good at finding things. That's about it. Alright, fine. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm not necessarily a bounty hunter, but I do travel across the galaxy in pursuit of different targets. The galaxy is a very big place. There are many wondrous things, of course, but with the good, sometimes comes the bad. I eliminate the bad before it becomes a larger problem. I work for an organization called the Galactic Utility Intelligence Logistics Task Force, also known as GILT. Great name, huh? We're a rather undercover group, inconspicuously keeping watch over the many planets, pinpointing any threats that may arise and disrupt the safety of civilians. The majority of guilt is essentially a surveillance system that relays information back to our leader. However, when a threat to the people does arise, be it an angry monstrosity or an ancient fiend, that's when my team intervenes. We are a subset of guilt, known as the Special Protection Investigative Tactical Exploration Team, or the Spike Team for short. There are six ACMR on this team, including myself, each one of us with a different skill set. I contribute the ability to track down our target once we're in its proximity. I'm not bad with a blade or two, either. Working with the team is alright. I wouldn't call all of them friends, but they are the people I'm closest to. Whenever we're not investigating a galactic threat, we're most likely just passing time on our starship. For me, this mostly means I'm in our training room, running through various simulations to keep my skills in good condition. I also enjoy a good game of cards every now and then. However, for some reason I'm always quite bad at trivia night. So, I guess I'm supposed to be like... <coughs> talking about myself or whatever. I mean, I don't know, Green. I'm pretty boring. All I do is work and blow glass pipe. <coughs> I mean, with that, I smoke a ton of moss in my off hour. Pretty much working all the time, though. Come from a long line of Vaders. Uh, that means excavators? My family has worked with a deep organization for like hundreds of aeons. Oh, I should probably tell you what the spell that is, huh? Deep stands for the discovery, excavation, and expansion of pandemonium passages. We're a little more progressive than those other baiters, the dry green hierarchy of excavation mining. No one wants to work for them. Frowning pieces of print. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be swearing green. So back to my job, I mean- <laughs> And welcome back. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> uh, so last we left off, um, the party entered the slimy lump, a uh, uh, a sleaze bar uh, that is tucked away into an alleyway that you can't really find unless you know it's there. And as the party entered, they got a, a sight, uh, an interesting sight. A sight to see. <laughs> yep, a sight to see. Uh, and Bernadette. 
uh, just kind of as she steps in first and kind of opens the door for the rest of you, just points over to the fire genasi passed out at the bar with the bottles all around her. She's like, I knew that had to be you. <laughs> and that is her. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she looks like she's having a really good time. I think she may have had a real good time, but now. <laughs> um, should I say something first, or would you like to? Well, you're the one that knows her. Fair. So Bernadette walks over to the stool at which uh, this fire genasi is sitting at and just kicks the bar stool out from underneath her. You just <laughs> collapse. <in the> <laughs> is it? I'm up. I'm up. Hey, Emmy. Uh... <laughs> oh, Jesus. That bodes well. Right. <laughs> um. So remember. So how... glad to see you. Yes. <laughs> so remember how you owe me a favor. Yes. I might recall well. I would like to um, collect these. You see, I don't need you so much as I need your ship. Uh, the one that I had chartered to leave this rock. Um, I misplaced it. Uh, no, we're all like the level cliff. <laughs> and who, pray tell, is this tall drink of water right here? <laughs> <laughs> this tall drink of water, as you put it, and she kind of hooks her arm with Tita's. Yeah, she does. Is Tita, and this is Zaxa, and that is Plonk. And they need your assistance as well. Part of my breed. I take all four of my hands and put them like in the little prairie. <laughs> oh, it's two pleases. <laughs> so, since their ship has uh, uh, had an unfortunate accident, uh, they can no longer... Uh, give me safe passage off this rock, and I've already pissed off my previous employer, so I need to leave. And we're going to leave now, but we're also going to find their friend. So you say we'd be hunting something? Hunt, we are. We are hunting. Um, you know what? Uh, Barky, can I... What are you drinking? Now you talk. Whatever the strongest thing and most expensive they have, I'd be pleased to share with you. Uh, yes, Barkit, can you get uh, this one? The most expensive and uh, most, what was it? Alcoholic? Yes. Strongest? Yes, the strongest thing that you have, please. I need to wake up a little bit. Right. Um, <laughs> one moment, please. And she will take the three of you aside. Uh, so... She's way worse than I remember her, um, but uh, I think she can still do the job, possibly. I mean, she can barely sit in her seat. That That's true. I did kick it out from under her, though, so... Can I have a drink, too? No. Um... <laughs> no. Will she be our pilot? No, she's more the captain of the ship. But, right. <laughs> yes. Um. There, I, I will tell you if she gives us uh, any dread about trying to help, there is one way we can force her. What is her ship like? Well, when I saw it about three years ago, uh, it was in. It was disheveled. Um. <laughs> but very fast. Let me tell you, it can get you from one place to another very fast. Mm -hmm. Three years ago. It was disheveled. <laughs> and, but very fast. But very fast. So. Mm -hmm. And okay. safe, like a Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, if she tries to give us any dread about helping, because of my past debts, uh, there's one thing. She is a, a bit of a, a gambler, uh, someone who likes to make bets. So if you can get her to follow us, or, you know, lead us, I suppose, um with some sort of bet, perhaps, then maybe we are, uh, have a better foothold. I don't know why you got point at me for betting. She does. You know. I bet you, you won't be able to help us find Minerva. 
Well, that was a little more straightforward than I was looking for, but that should work. <laughs> The rest of us, I'm so assuming. Is that we'll drink just... ready yet? <laughs> oh, the, the the drink gets slid down to you, and it is a tall one, mm. and it, it's got like mm-hmm. a little bit of a steam rising off of it. <laughs> now, what if I do happen to help you find your friend? I'm sure Minerva could think of something. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. So, are you sure you don't want to be the one talking? She usually does a pretty good job. <laughs> Very well. We'll let her continue. I'm also going to make sure that I'm doing minor illusion so I'm sparkling right now. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. You just got that sparkle <laughs> glow. So you make the fire crackle a little bit louder than necessary. Oh, shit. Yeah. Tita's like, oh, 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 no, I got two <laughs> girls here that might be... <laughs> She just like, you're her and the friend. <laughs> so, to help us, what do you want? What do you want for helping us? Oh, it's interesting you should ask, my tiny friend. Uh, I would actually only ask that you would all owe me a favor. That sounds worse than money. Okay. It does sound <laughs> worse than money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and plugs over there, just like, yep. <laughs> Oh, we let her do the talking. <laughs> okay. So, so have you come to an agreement already? We'll do so her a favor. Yeah. That's a great A bet is a bet, my friends. Shall we drink on it? Well, in that case, Barkeep, we need one for her too. Barkeep will bring over the same tall, clear liquid that is steaming. Steam is rising out of the top. It's like a Collins glass. It wants to, you know. I take one sip and immediately spit it out and go, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it has a, a very, almost like um, like a hot tamale. It's got that kind of, uh, oh. like the first initial. Just Kind of that. And as as the, the the burning sensation seems to go away, it has a pepper, like a, a strong pepper flavor, uh, and it is very warm. To wait, are we all drinking the same thing? Uh, no, you no. you don't have it. It's just her. These two, they're making a deal. They're making a bet. They're drinking on it. Yep. <laughs> so you drink on it. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Yeah. That's why she does the talking. Mm. Yes, but now we owe her a favor. Yes. <laughs> and by we, I mean you. She's doing this because she owes me. Well, I mean, it sounds like you all did the drinking. I did no drinking. Those two did. Oh, well, then she owes her a favor. I like the way you think. Um, and that's why she were you guys talking. Even, were they even near me? Uh, they were near enough that we could hear, but we had just hushed tones to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you walk, or do we need to carry you to your ship? I I am fine to walk. I was. Born As she to falls walk. off her damn stool, like <laughs> while she's saying it, in like five minutes. I was born to walk. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Great. You just sit I'll here and wait five minutes. Drink. Anyone else want to drink? <laughs> over here? Oh yeah. Okay. What would you like? What do you have? I don't work here. I don't know. This is Bernadette. I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Tita, obviously. He's like, he means what do you have? Because, like, she's from there. He's not from there. Um, well, if you're looking for, uh, there's, there's a couple of clear li- liqueurs that you uh, may be interested in. One tastes like a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> and another tastes like licorice. <laughs> you could always go for something a bit stronger like whiskey. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I feel like I would walk over and kind of be a meddlesome jerk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like stumble over to you two while you're talking stumble. and say, Yeah, I thought you were a whiskey man. Speaking of which, you two... Just make the cutest couple, may I say. You Bless may not. your hearts. You may not. <laughs> Meanwhile, I look over like, <laughs> <and> <laughs> <my eyebrows. laughs> 
<laughs> you're gonna leave another chair that isn't there. You're it's like, not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought it was such an attractive. <laughs> <laughs> As you just fall. Uh, all right, yeah. So I'm doing my shot of whiskey. Okay. Okay. No. no. <laughs> Very well. I will take some. Uh, I'll take some gin. And she has some gin. Yeah. yeah. Take a shot. Can you stumble now? Absolutely. Good. Let's go. So, um, you... Why is stumbling the level we want her at? (laughs) That's probably the best we'll ever see. Uh. (laughs) It's that or nothing. Can I get a bottle for the road, please? And he comes over with a bottle. I'll hold on to this for now. And she pays up and a little chip. Like she pays up. Yeah, she's paying the she pays for your drink too. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Oh, what? Sugar mama? I, I, so I didn't drink it. <laughs> it's just sitting in the, the glass still? Oh no, I took like two That's, sips, yeah. spit them both out, and then she drank the rest. Oh naturally. <laughs> She was like, I know you're not going to drink this, so I'll just take it. <laughs> She's like, you really don't look like you're a friend of that. <laughs> While you're having this conversation, you hear <laughs> across the bar, someone flung a, a bottle at someone else, and now they're like starting to burn. They start to get up and we'll argue. Time to go. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> uh, probably a good idea. And yeah, you can exit the bar. Yep. Lead the way. I guess I'll just start stumbling forward. Do you know? Do you know the direction of, uh, of which you need to go? We're gonna go the wrong way for like probably like a hundred feet, and then I'm gonna realize that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I'll keep talking and just turn around <laughs> and go back the other way. <laughs> Jeez. Tita Bernadette just kind of rolls her eyes to you, and you see her. You know, Emmy is just kind of circling and, and just circles back around. And as you're walking, Bernadette just looks at you like, "Hmm." Um, Your friend Fong, seems great. Fong's uh, sitting there like, <laughs> "Oh, you know, um, we introduced ourselves, and you were extremely rude and did not introduce yourself." <laughs> oh, <dear. sighs> I'm dreadfully sorry, my friends. I did mean to introduce myself. My name is Captain Emmy Strang. And do you do the? There, there'll be a banner above me. <laughs> Minor what illusion spells, banner. What spells my name out for you? But my last name is spelled strange. But I refuse to. It's 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 strange. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, this is yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Is that Emmy with a Y? Yes. <laughs> so we pronounce the Y. <laughs> continue on, um, and you come to one of the little um, uh, not dots, but like the little extensions where you can raise for the uh, the, the skiff. Uh, and a skiff comes whizzing by. It comes rocketing over probably like seventy miles per Ooh. hour. <laughs> Stops abruptly. Um, there's a, a female ASMR. Oh, if you want to give a, a brief description of what Emmy looks like, that might be a, a good idea, just so they have an idea of what... Of what I look like? Yeah, what you look like. Yes. Uh, she is a female fire genasi. She has, like, dark, dark gray skin. Um, she has orange kind of tattoos that kind of glow here and there, look kind of like flames, and, um, fire for hair. And her eyes are all just kind of orangey. And you're dressed in what, like, a, it almost looks like a Marilyn Monroe kind of dress, huh? Yeah, it's really just a scantily clad, <laughs> kind of robish dress thing. Yeah, yeah. perfect. All right. That Grecian look. <laughs> yeah. So there's a, a female ASMR that pulls up in this skiff. It says, all aboard, uh, where are you heading? Oh, that's me. Um, I, I don't know. Is it you? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> uh, you, you essentially, you have to um, oh, take the skiff over to one of the flying uh, islands that where all of the, the ship ports are. 
So you can just or hopefully your is. ship is. Right, yeah. Easy enough, yeah. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I thought this was the lot that, that one. She's, uh, that one. Wait, she's like, uh... That one? Or that, that, I know there's that, three of them, but the one in the middle. The one the one kind of set behind the other two? Yeah. Yes. L- l- yes. Oh. It's a little dirty, but... Sure, sure. Climb aboard, climb aboard. <laughs> uh, and once everyone is in, as soon as the little gate closes, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm in the middle. <laughs> Are you still just... <laughs> yep. Are you holding my legs again? <laughs> yep. Yep. Rockets I make off. you go on first, and then I'm, I make sure I'm not the last one on. I'm, like, in the middle. <laughs> You're, like, already settled? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I just imagined you as soon as it like the gate opens, you're attached to his leg. Like you're, I'm just basically he just walks on you with in, you. like I just drag you on. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you get rocketed over there um, and deposited, and she says, um, "All right, so that'll be uh, what is there? Six of you? Five, uh, five copper pieces, please." Do I have money? <laughs> no, there's six. No, you never really. Well, well, there's six. You do, but not. Oh wait, lot. did Kubrick meet us? Is Kubrick with no. us? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, man, because none so of good. you guys thought of him, but I did and decided not to say anything. You, 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 were, mean, you were so quick. quick. We were supposed to wait at the bar for him. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that's why everyone, <laughs> everyone was like, sure. I, was and I was like, yes. I was waiting and I almost said something and I was like, no, there's no why would I say something. Tita for sure does not care oh, that yeah. we left without Kubrick, so it's fine. I completely forgot. Lala's faced it out a little bit. Bernadette but... will just give her chip and pay for the five of you because it's five copper. She does not care. Yeah, I um, patted down my note pocket. <laughs> just... <laughs> my, little, my little fob with money on it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, you get deposited on this large floating island and there are um, just right away, visually, three ships. Um, you see this long, sleek, dark metal... A uh, ship that looks like it might be extremely, extremely fast. You it's like see, the 007 ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see uh, one that looks similar to an X-Wing from Star Wars. It's got, you know, the, the little flappy wing mm-hmm. things. Um, and then there's one that I will let you describe that is just ramshackled and... <laughs> Is it one of those, like, that's the last one? Like, we see the, like, you're crazy like, fantastic oh, like, yeah, we're yeah. Like, you guys then, by we're like, You're like, no, that's ones. not it. Then we get to the next one, it's like, still all right. But that's not <laughs> no, bad. You're like, saying, no, it's just no, right that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> you you kind of turn around, like, turn the corner around to the larger ship, and then you see Emmys <laughs> off to the side. And she's like, there's my baby. Here we are, my friend. <laughs> It's made completely of wood. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say cardboard. So <laughs> you're better than me. I was gonna be like cardboard and duct tape. So, it so. really would be the equivalent of like a, an old Volvo station wagon, but yes. if it were like much larger, obviously. Yeah, and, much and much larger, spaceship. but yes. like as a spaceship. Floor floor is rusted out, like you know. Yeah, but it's an old stick shift. That the, the oh my god, is, is it gone. the woody sides? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wood paneling. It's almost as if I. Want it to look really terrible so that nobody will try and steal it. Gotcha. But well, it's, almost. it's nice inside. Almost. Inside. <laughs> Which almost. you guys don't yeah, know sure. yet, but it's it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Should you leave them in? I will we, leave them in. And I will leave it to you to give your tour. I'll play as Bernadette on the side. Oh, we, good lord, we my do friend. actually need Kubrick because he's our pilot. And if she is not a pilot, we need a pilot. Wait, I am. Well, you have a pilot. You have Are a pilot? Are you saying this out loud to the group that you miss Kubrick, or are you just being Mike right now? Uh, miss <laughs> Kubrick is crew. not <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but... I'm like, saying, as, as Zoxa, that we, really we have one. a pilot well, who is strategically it, but just a pilot. That's all he does. Are you saying we have to go back Oh, yes. Kubrick. If we need, I will go back and retrieve Kubrick. Alone? Or it's it, it won't. It shouldn't be dangerous. Shouldn't be is the the key word. Yeah. Right? Oh, now he's gonna have to pay to go back and come back. He's got he's got the chip. I've I've got <laughs> credits of my own. <laughs> um. Unfortunately, yeah. I can't go anywhere because I'm not getting on one of those flying things again. <laughs> so I, I, I said I would. Go. Okay. 
you need me to go with you? No, I, I'll find my way back. I didn't say you weren't gonna find your way back. That wasn't the problem. <laughs> okay, so are you going now, <laughs> Saxa? Yeah, I'll go I'm now. I'm gonna be your protector. <laughs> <laughs> So you you, you get to the edge and you kind of lift your hand and you can see a skiff zoom over. This one flies up. Uh, there's a, a male um, water genasi. He is. Uh, there's a couple other uh, riders, if you will, customers uh, at the moment. And he's like, "Come on in, head into uh, prime." Ah uh, yes. Okay. Chip. Chip. You. <laughs> and <laughs> rockets off. Now, is that one copper for me? Yeah. Is that also one credit? Uh, it's not no, a credit. It's, 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 a, it's, a, penny. it's a fraction one, of a credit. One one hundred. So literally, a penny. Oh my god. Um, how can yeah, I refuse to pay for it? Because I'm not sure. How come that guy took his money first and then went, and the other one? I found that maybe strange as well. Little, maybe he's a little proactive, and maybe he's had people like uh, Captain Strang over here who never have money and never pay him, so he gets it ahead of time. <laughs> it's a fraction of a credit. We're fine. That you know of. I'll, I'll check it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're concerned, but I paid. <laughs> so you get rocketed uh, off, and Emmy, if you'd like to give the rest of the, the team a, a tour of your ship. Would that be rude? A tour. If a you tour. don't show them, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a tour. All right, so I guess I'll start walking in. Obviously, the captain will come up to us, which is... You are the captain. Well, I'm sorry. The, the, uh, the pilot. The pilot. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Whom I guess is Punch. I don't know anybody's actual name. <laughs> it's important to know. I just give them oh, whatever like name names. makes okay. sense to me. Uh, Punch is interesting. <laughs> Yeah. So are you? Well, it's you, because he's like my second in charge. So if anything goes wrong, you just blame it on him. It's like he's a punching bag. So. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. So you you introduce him as Punch. Yes. And he's like <clears throat> uh, Eugene, actually. Eugene. Ha ha ha! Punch. Why always with the? <clears throat> Oh. It's always the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's miraculous how she hits the same location every time. <laughs> just has it's a day. Day. <laughs> it's it's a day. Day. It's a it's a a <sighs> um, what is what does Eugene look like? Is he one of the Eugene. weird ones? Or? We definitely didn't get that. Eugene. With it. <laughs> Eugene. Uh, he. He's got these spindly little gray legs, um, and. Uh, his, it, up his back, there's like spines that come up, uh, and he's got like little spikes just all over him. Uh, he's got piercing red eyes. Even his face just has little spikes all over it, um, and a little, little tail whips around in the back. And uh, yeah, that's that's what you see for Eugene, aka Punch. <laughs> uh, Punch is going to be driving us around, seeing as how I give them my keys the moment I. Arrive back onto the ship. You see his eyes. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants her. Oh, I keep forgetting that Zoxa is not here. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Could if I, go if I was here, perhaps? I would not have gone back to for, for <laughs> knowing that we have a pilot. Right. Well, <laughs> you did not know. Ah, uh, Zox is going to be upset. <laughs> He's gonna be like, damn it, Cooper, and there's your turn. So, he's a so good bad. dude. I'm sure he'll introduce himself. So when you get Punch back. is like, um So where are we where are we headed, Captain? Uh, I do believe my good friends here would be happy to tell you. Sure. Uh where are we headed? We would. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about Bernadette. Like, like, uh, uh, well, yeah, I would like to get off of this friends. this world uh, if I could. Uh, but we need to find Minerva. Yeah, well, that's your problem. I just want to leave. Don't My don't. deal with you was to help you gain access to their lair. I did my part. You need to hold up your end oh, of the bargain and get me this off of problem. this rock. But like, our friend's missing. And. Do we know where your friend is? Now all of a sudden we hate Bernadette. <laughs> right? 
Um, do we actually? No, we don't know. Um, Honestly, I'm surprised that she even suggested getting us a ship. Do we? Her job was done. She wa- <laughs> she wanted to leave though. What did we see? Do we know any like? Do we know about the order thing that Minerva was with, or no? Like we just know. Uh, I feel like there really them. wasn't any information that was uh, so collected. On them. Awesome. Was there she anything? Didn't tell us anything. Was there anything about the ship that we would have like some something to be? Oh, is our ship with this blah? Or like no, we really didn't. You, I feel like the <clears throat> only person who, the only people who would have known which direction the ship went. Is either Kuprick, Bernadette, or maybe Zaxa, because you were still like up and doing your thing. So Bernadette can be like, uh, I, I don't know much about space travel or anything, but I was the per- the guy I killed the pilot. Um, no, no. Uh, well, they. You I'm, I'm you sure they had. They could have multiple pilots, but he he wasn't the only one on the ship. At, at when you bamped into it. Yeah. He was the I only one. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is what it's going to be called from now on. Forever. Yep. When you, yeah, when you bamped in there, he was the only one at the moment. There was someone else. Fight. There was only two in the whole area when the whole thing started. That's right. There was the wizard and the thief. And the thief went into the ship to fire at yeah. your ship. And the wizard right. stayed out to try to take care of anyone okay. coming so in. So I, I wouldn't know if it was the pilot or not. It was just the guy in there firing the, the gun. Correct. Cool. No, I didn't know if there was any like markings or something on the ship that we would have seen to be like, oh, she went away with... No. Not, um, not necessarily markings. Um, but yeah, Bernadette, so she says, I, I don't know much about space travel per se, uh, but I can kind of... It, it shot off in, in that direction. And she can't. Well, she's like, well, um, hold on. Where was the the cave wall? Is in this way, I think. And she points. So, you know, uh... What? Yeah. She po- yeah. She, she po- <laughs> I'm fairly, fairly confident. Uh, they they went up that way. Um, obviously, not hundred percent sure. So, take it with a grain of salt. But well, I mean, we can't go anywhere anyway. We're waiting for a Zoxa. Right. So maybe he knows more than you know? And this conversation, by the way, is being had while uh, Captain Strange is just walking through I'm the already, ship. Yeah, I'm already, like... I'm talking about everything. I know we here. I'm often here talking, and I'm like, and then and I find my way into the kitchen, where I find um, the <laughs> chef. <laughs> I was actually waiting politely for her to, on well, the tour for so, us to get to a place with food, and then I was gonna. Well, so everybody else started talking. And <coughs> she goes, "Does anyone want an omelet?" And I went. <laughs> so she came with me to the kitchen, where I'm introducing Chef. He's a French humanoid type thing, and his um, name is Chef. Yes. So I don't know Rutoli. what his actual name is. But... Rutoli. <laughs> You're so funny. I can't take it. Hey. He's the chef from The Little Mermaid. Yes! <laughs> That's what I was picturing. <laughs> and when he goes uh, to, yes. like, I ask for an omelet, and then he'll just be like... Yes. So Does he have dancing the little, like, the the little twisty stash? And he's got the, got the little red i don't so. even ask him to dress like that he just does <laughs> <laughs> he takes it that seriously and he, you see him he's already cracking eggs he's getting ready he's like <laughs> doing his thing yeah wait so where are we you you were cl- cl- uh you and bernadette were yeah. following close behind but you were talking so you didn't hear anything that strange yeah, so they like, jer- like jolted off so we were just no, like standing jol- you're still oh, we're still following yeah. okay you can as soon no, as no i thought we like stopped the, to talk. the two of you are as you're talking you're like you can smell from my antenna are like <laughs> <laughs> And funny enough, since they can smell the food, then in would come Doc. Oh, yes. He's a little gnome dude that's kind of come in, and he, um, he, he's kind of shady little guy. Something tells me that you might appreciate him. <laughs> okay. I will keep my eyes peeled. He makes excellent brownies, though, so when he smells that the, uh, the food is he, cooking. He, uh, now, I'm, I'm, depic- I'm depicting Doc as Doc from uh, Snow White. Um, oh but the beard, <laughs> except the beard is just like, 
Uh, and <laughs> but still like the Amish beard. The oh, beard. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's got his eyes are so bloodshot. It, well, it's difficult to tell because his eyebrows are so big that they kind of come down cover his a little eye. bit over them. Um, right. So who is Doc? Doc is like the doctor. You see him, he's wearing he's wearing a medical, uh, like a similar to uh, what Zox I was wears. really hoping he wasn't because it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> This is Doc. What's he do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the plumber. Like, <laughs> speaking of the plumber. Uh, I would like well, real wait. quick. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, passive perception is what for you? you? Me? Yeah. 12? It is enough. You get um, over the, the smell of the food mm. uh, as Doc passes by you. You go, you catch the smell of moss. Which... <laughs> um, yeah, and he just kind of like he he's leaving the kitchen with just a pile of food in his hand. Just, um, I will follow. He just kind of like kind of nods to you with like what's, a little. What's your smile. name? What's your name? <laughs> and my name is Jack Birkenstiel. Well, uh, what do you got there? Food. What what kind of food? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I, that, I have a, that have was a look of why would you do make me try and spell I that? I know. That's exactly. what it was. <laughs> he was like, oh, this is... <laughs> and he's a gnome, so he's real short. Yeah. He's like three feet ish, roughly around there. Uh, he's, <laughs> don't, don't, try. don't try. So you're, he's looking up at you, and you're looking down at him. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, hey, I got this, uh, got this loaf of bread and uh, this uh, block of cheese, um, uh, and uh, uh, I got this, uh, this uh, side of ham. Uh, and uh, what, what, what did you say? I like him. Again? He's cute. <laughs> you said that about something else that we ended up not liking. <laughs> so just be careful. It was cool <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make some sandwiches. Me. <laughs> oh, I have to mimic it. I have to do it. What? what? I just have to mimic it. <laughs> Every time you go, me, 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 Oh well, you God. said I could smell it. So. He just stares at you like complete blank stare, no like idea. has no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> um, I will open my pouch. His passive perception is two. <laughs> <laughs> I will open my pouch and flash like the <laughs> neck of Genevieve, assuming like, that he knows that that's what that's used he for. He drops the food. Was that? <laughs> May I? Was that? Um, was that? No. Sure. He hands it, you hand it over. Mm, good craftsmanship on the rim there. What happened? Um, bad things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I'm a tear. Right. It's like it's being we're, shed. We're just gonna have to make you do it. <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> okay, put that back in my coat. <laughs> I'm basically like plonk right and now. He, and I'm like, <laughs> he looks down at the food he dropped with such a like a depressed face, and just kind of picks it all back up, dusts the bread off, <laughs> and leaves the room. Uh, yeah. So you're all in the kitchen now. I'm uh, imagining it's now just a pile. It's not like sorted. <laughs> Uh, now, meanwhile, a ball of food. <laughs> meanwhile, Zaxa, oh, you get whisked over to Iskard Prime. Yes. Um, and uh, are you try you're trying to go back toward the bars, obviously. So yes, I'm assuming you request the closest uh, dock docking point to the bar, so you can make a quick step of it. as quick as possible. As quick as possible. Quick, yeah. quick wasting my time. <laughs> So you get back to that. You were the one that decided you wanted to go get him. So. You get back to the slimy Still lump, be mad about and uh, you open the door. Not much has changed. Uh, there's a passed out guy on the ground. Well, you say I say passed out, but there's blood, so you don't know. Uh, <laughs> of course. Um, they're, they're, Could be dead. <laughs> Could be dead. Could be dead. <laughs> it looks like there there may have been like a chair broken <laughs> over there as well. Um, but other than that, the majority of everything else is still the same. Um, the pile of beer bottles and drink bottles that were in front of Strang 
uh, are gone. They've been cleaned up. Or thrown at other people. You don't know. <laughs> but you do see Kubrick just standing in the middle of the bar. <laughs> so awkwardly. Just like... Looking around. <laughs> you, you see, he's just like... Kubrick! <sighs> Where have you been? I, I, I... We have been waiting for a bit. It didn't take as long as we thought. Sorry, we've we've got the ship. Come on. So did you just forget about me? I'm here, aren't I? <sighs> Fine. All right. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. At least you know where I stand in this group. Oh, it feels so good. Just one little tear. <laughs> Just get well <laughs> His eyes are just like he's like it's just a dust particle. Punching. Flicks the duster to feel cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just passed you through the door, <laughs> and then he stops. He's like, "You're gonna have to lead the way because I don't know. I don't know where we're going." <laughs> he right. storms out, and then he's like, "I don't know where we're going." <laughs> All Are right, you coming? I'll, I'll, do, I'll lead the way. I'll <laughs> use prestidigitation to make himself look good. Wipe, wipe the tears away with prestidigitation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, 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 I got you. Uh, he gets over to the docking, the docking port, the, the you know, yeah, docking point essentially, yeah. um, and he waves out down a boat, and it comes over or the skiff, um, and the. The, the driver's like, oh, it's going to be uh, two copper for the two of you? And he's like, yeah, just one on here, please. And he hands his chip over to oh my the... God. Are you so <laughs> glad you went back for him? It. Puts it away. <laughs> and then... Yeah, he's like, you know what? One he copper. saved me a copper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and feel bad the anymore. Skiff gets, <laughs> the skiff gets whisked away uh, back to the island. I mean, his whole party just basically abandoned him. Yeah. <laughs> So would he really want to pay for Zog's trip? I mean, I was going to pay for his, but... You know, were the only one that would His insight's yeah. terrible. He has no idea that... Oh, know. I'm, oh, I know. <laughs> so back at the ship, Strang, you can lead them to another place, or the omelet gets finished. Oh my god, please tell me I get an He's yes. like, mademoiselle, and hands you a plate with the... Uh, Thank you! It's got, what do you, what did you want? <clears throat> I have no idea. He just Good, made it. Good, because it's just, you just see different colored things in yeah. there. There's some grays, some <laughs> greens. Great. And, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. As you're going, it's just kind of coming out Meanwhile, I'm looking at, he's just looking at Plog, just like drooling a little bit, like, um, so can I get one of those? It was more like a kind of like a mouse, like, oh. I mean, no, really, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Thank you. So, would you like something as well? Uh, yes, please. Oh, that was not just for me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> and he'll go to get to cooking again. <laughs> wow. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, so you can continue the tour. No. All right, we'll we'll walk by something that looks like it may have been shot or something, <laughs> and um, and then there I'll introduce you to Manny. He's our repairs guy. Is that the thing that was shot? <laughs> uh, no, he's the guy that fixes the things that get shot. It was shot because our our muscle Rocky was arguing with another guy. Rocky. Rocky. He, uh, guy he, necessarily. Manny um, looks. He's got um, he's got like dark jean like pants on. Um, white wife beater. Huge gut. Little grease stain on the on so the chest. So mechanic. Essentially. Refuses to speak English. So like a mechanic. Oh, mechanic. <laughs> Stereotypical it, mechanic. Yeah. How rude. Hold on. What? <laughs> You'll have to excuse he's him. He's got like he's... a he's got like the big bushy handlebar. Did mustache. you say Ola? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I thought you just went. Uh. <laughs> you like, kinda, that, you, that's exactly what happened. That is actually what happened. I, <laughs> I, uh, I was like, wait, what? He's, 
he's such just, an he's just staring. Man. He's just staring at you. You don't, you don't have comprehend like big smile on his face. What's your name? <laughs> he nods. Oh my god, does he not speak common? <laughs> And of course, I'll be like, Everything how's that come along? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> like, he just <laughs> nods. A man of little words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, do you know his real name? No. <laughs> his name's Manny. Okay. Right, Manny? Uh, Manny. 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 <laughs> You see that? The poor man just refuses to speak common to me. He just will not. <laughs> he just will not. But he can fix anything. Uh-huh. Fix! Fix! Yes. Fix! Manny Fix. See? Fix. That's his name. Fix. Nailed it. <laughs> He's looking like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep fix. doing shooting the Gavin's at him as I keep walking. <laughs> fix! Ha <laughs> ha! Manny! Yeah. <laughs> This is fantastic! <laughs> oh god. Uh, so, Zaxa, as you Ooh, return okay. to the ship, as you oh, return god. to the ship, uh huh. You and Kubrick make your way over. Uh-huh. Um, and out, it, the, the, oh, the, you know, the stair thing is still there. It's uh. still down. Uh, and as you're walking by the ships, Kubrick's like, oh, that's a, that's a good ship. Nice ship. And you walk a little further, he's like, mm hmm. Good ship too, I guess. Walk on the next one. Then he ran the final one. He's like, yep. "Oh, oh, please, no! This, this, this is this. This is what we're dealing with." Oh. Oh. Okay, sure, yeah, whatever. A piece of it falls off. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the it's best clearly, we can do right it's now? It's clearly just cosmetic, but a little yeah. piece. Of oh, something that we patched up there. It looks like maybe it was held like, like, tape. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, but it starts floating. <laughs> <sighs> He's like, great. And after you. Right. Just walk on, I guess. Yeah. And uh, as you walk up, um, you're at the last step about to step into the ship and just around the corner steps this <coughs> massive figure. It's probably like eight feet tall. Gray skin. Huge, huge. Just muscles. No shirt on either. Just of course not. Right, yeah. right, right, right. He's got like the loincloth kind of shorts on. No shirt. And he's like, <laughs> uh, uh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> There, there, there. <laughs> Sorry, I got yeah, confused. <laughs> well, I gotta be ready though, because Cooper's <laughs> with me. So. <laughs> I I am Saxa. Yeah, never heard of you before. <laughs> Likewise. Why are you on the ship? <laughs> Where is Bernadette? <laughs> Who? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear this uh, right now, I'm guessing. Uh, no, I mean, you're, for, you're further in. You don't hear oh, this oh, yet. Yeah, sure. You remember? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't <laughs> We're looking for Emmy. Oh, yeah, the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll bring, yeah. bring you Emmy, sure. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we're the she look back at, <laughs> him. Look back at him and go... <sighs> <sighs> Kubrick, even though Sweating he was just disappointed bullet. with you, he's like... <laughs> 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 the eye's like, uh... <laughs> Like, where did you... Did you We've rescue been... me? Or did you rescue me? Um, but yeah, he, he leads you, you know, through some halls. You get uh, a brief, like, a smell of uh, some type of omelet cooking uh, as mm-hmm. you walk through. Uh, you pass by an area where there's, you know, some type of, like she, you mentioned, bullet hole or some type... Just hole that looks like it's been blasted in. Oh, we also see something scurry. <laughs> <laughs> something scurry. It's not what you think, though. <laughs> something, something small. Make <laughs> a uh, make a perception way. check. I will do that. Ah. Is it is it what I think it is? Okay. Ooh, nat twenty. Ooh. I know exactly what it is. You see, just uh, scampering around and kind of ducks into like some other hole that you don't know how where that came from. Uh, <laughs> you see this, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong because I don't have the notes on it. Do you want to describe it? Or I, I can describe it as well. I think I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. what it is. 
Uh, well, I know, but just off the top of my head, maybe not. Uh, you <laughs> see um, a... It looks like a dragon, but it's very, very, very small. Um, yeah, just real cute. It has purplish red skin. Yeah, uh, purplish red skin. Uh, it's dragon mustache. Yes, yes, like Mushu, Mushu oh, from yes. uh, Milan, yeah. Um, and dragon mustache. He just, he's, got like, he's got like a long tail, a little, uh, little spike on the end, and he just into a hole. Cute! You're not there. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. It's in spirit. She's like, cute. Cooper, yeah. Cooper's like, whoa, geez, what the? <laughs> 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 now I've not met Cooper. Cooper, no. right? No, you have not. He wasn't at the bar. Yeah, no. you're not missing anything. This, this um, will be interesting. Yeah, so <laughs> oh as you're showing them around, you see Rocky leading two people up. He's like, uh, Captain, hey, two more. Well, I do believe I only know one of you. <laughs> Who pray tell might you be, sir? Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name Don't is. Touch oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Cooper. Don't I put my me. hand out and it's fire. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh. I'm sure the pleasure is all yours. Uh, I don't know if you need a pilot, <laughs> uh, but I'm a skilled pilot. Uh, I have not flown one of these before. Nonsense, but... sir! Unless you want to drive alongside my trusted pilot. Punch. Punch. <laughs> Punch. Uh, right on t- Oh, shit. Well, uh, pilots. I could take, I could take a, a, a peek at the cockpit and see, like, you know, what's going on there. Do but... you have any other skills, sir? Uh, well... <laughs> He taps his rapier, his long sword, on the side of his. Like, yeah, I'm pretty, you know, I can. I, I, can I don't know. I don't know oh, if you want me to roll stealth for this, for but I would like to. <laughs> do, do, but I don't want I'm pretty to make a sleight of hand. <laughs> sleight of hand. Oh yeah. my god, are they close Even enough better. to us yet? Because I definitely want to talk all the crap. Oh, you're there. Uh, yeah, you two are. Oh, with, that's with a. Right now. That's we're, a we're seven. Oh, oh, we met hallway. back up. We're we met back up. They're walking up, and yeah, Rocky just, you know, said this two and walked off. That is a seven sleight of hand. It, that's for him to see? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was for it. It might be... Uh, <laughs> Do you have any other uses? <laughs> any other, any other skills? <laughs> that's like the... <laughs> uh, he catches like the last second of it. As you're doing that, he kind of turns back to the others to and be like, like, right, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to the cockpit. Which way? Oh, poor Cooper. <laughs> I'll just ask You Rocky both keep go. doing that, and then immediately yeah, after, like, I'll do that. I can show him. <laughs> then, yeah, Rocky can lead him away. Wait, I want to <laughs> talk to Rocky. Go ahead. <laughs> you can chase after him real quick if you want. I don't want to leave the group. <laughs> Cooper's there? <laughs> you just felt so bad for him. No, no, yeah. no. no. Plunk did not. Christina did not. felt <laughs> 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 Up to you. Fine. <laughs> Are you chasing after? Yeah. Okay. He's like eight feet tall, which is like double your height, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. He's just... Yeah. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Rocky. That's your actual name? Yeah. Yeah, that one was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> she chased after him like just for that. Like, <laughs> of- okay, what do you what do you do? Uh, I don't do much. I'm just kind of like the guy who stands there, and when trouble happens, I just you know do this, and then it stops. He is a good man. I was gonna. <laughs> A good, simple. He knows man. his skills. <laughs> yes. He's, he's with the perfect person right now. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. And just continues to move on. I'm gonna run back to the group. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So, Emmy, anything else that you'd like to share on the ship? Anyone else you'd like to introduce them to? Um, do I get my omelet? <laughs> do you? <laughs> Did he not get it? 
Uh, you left before he got his omelet. Oh, that is I mean, a travesty. You go, you go back. <laughs> I, I would like to go back yeah. and get my omelet. I Easy ate enough. The first one. That was uh, he, forever. He's like, ah, mademoiselle. I thought it was get caught. Co- oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <Al-Jumar. laughs> monsieur. <laughs> my apologies, monsieur. Uh, it might be a little cold. It's all right. I take it. Shut the. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, they'll just go back to kind of cleaning up some pots. And I will go and back to the group. Yeah. Actually, lies. Do you have anything to drink? <laughs> Specifically, coffee. Yeah, but of course, I can make that for you. No problem. A strong cup of French coffee. <laughs> um, could you make two of those so I could bring one back to my friend? Of course. <gasps> Is it for me? Oh, <gasps> <yay>! <laughs> So yeah, it takes a sec. Okay. He makes those two, and yeah, you can do that. Uh, Me- meanwhile, <laughs> while uh, Tita is not there, anything that uh, the rest of you would like to discuss, Bernadette is uh, with you as well, so keep that in mind. Traitor. <laughs> oh, by the way, Manny has not moved. He's just standing there, just like staring at you. He's like, fix, fix. Big He's smile on his face. In there. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> oh, Manny. <laughs> I'll just yell down the hall, Manny! You keep fixing. Fix, yeah. Fix, yes. Yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just <laughs> he just turns to a wall, pulls out a hammer. <laughs> you don't know what he's fixing, if anything. He's probably breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> good enough. <laughs> so, is there um, bathrooms? Are there bedrooms? Boxes could like be at least have captain's quarters. You <laughs> in this that's Manny. Quarters. Yeah, in my captain's quarters. <laughs> he Bottles doesn't speak common. Oh, every, uh, yeah. We don't know what he speaks. Candles in the empty bottle. <laughs> You're like, if at all. Uh, from a down the hall. <laughs> have I made my way back yet? Oh, I can't uh, use it second. yet. Okay, okay. sec. <laughs> What? what? I wanted to use comprehend language. I used it as a ritual. With the four guys oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, I will spend I try ten. To telepathically talk to him. Oh yeah. I will spend ten minutes next to him casting the ritual that is comprehend languages, right. so I can find out what Ola means. Okay. God. <laughs> I want to try to telepathically talk to him. Go for it. I want to say, "Hi, what's your name?" There doesn't seem to be any response, as if he's not getting the message. <laughs> yeah, flatline. <laughs> Ooh, what? You thought it was because you were in that cave, but it is, doesn't seem to be working still. Yeah, my thing's gone. Like you're just Something this, epic book. just happened. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like doing ritual things in front of Manny while I'm sure he's he- just like... He's, he's staring, he, kind of a confused face, but also interested in what you're doing. I feel like Manny would also probably pull out, like, a beer or something. Or something. Just, <laughs> while he's like just standing there, he's just like... He's watching me go, he just... eating a sandwich out of some wax. Yeah, yeah literally. Doc and walks while by. he's watching him do this, he's Doc gonna walks pull out by and just hands him a sandwich. <laughs> he's just gonna... <laughs> Doc walks by and just hands him a sandwich. He's, just, yeah, he's, he's gonna just eat, eat it, it and just watch whatever you're doing. Yeah. Plunk is so sad. Plunk is so sad. Am I back yet with the coffee for At this point, my, yeah, my, you're back with the my coffee. My one cool thing that I have. All right, well, that's you fine. You have multiple cool things. Okay, so I will approach. Literally cool. They're freezing. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I will approach Plunk. <clears throat> I'm going to eat coffee. <gasps> Instant excitement. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Plunk, this coffee is the most delicious you have had yet. It, it, French roast. Can't go, can't go wrong with that. And maybe you don't like that coffee. Oh, I, I have a guy that finds these delicious coffee beans for me. I have no clue where he gets them. Do you know anything I about say, it? Bernard, that's like, I, I feel like you don't know much of what's going on at all. Oh. Allow me to introduce you to my most trusted advisor. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little kissy noise. 
<laughs> it takes a moment, uh, but you you all see just up the side, the leg of uh, Strang, right to the shoulder. You see this tiny little purplish looking dragon. Um, and I'm assuming like, I've never seen anything like that before. Or? You can't really make out the voice or anything, but you see it kind of like raise its little mouth or little jaw to uh, her ear and just in her ear, little whispers. <laughs> Am I shocked? And then, it, and then after it makes those whispers, it just kind of like curls back and just kind of sits there. And it's a little, you know, I wish it would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to You might just think it's a fancy bug. <laughs> So, yeah. Maybe I do think it's okay. You see that little. What? What's this name? Oh, this is my best friend, Mick Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me everything I need to know about this shit. <laughs> and it, he's just he's sitting there, he's like. Since you're here. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Now, plonk. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. As you're sipping your coffee <laughs> and you're contemplating how disappointed you are, so disappointed that you, for some reason, but aren't sure able to, how yeah, to to complete your 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 usual ability. You almost seize, not seize, but you almost like freeze up for a second because you hear a voice in the back of your mind. I'm here. Oh. I got through to you. How wonderful. That sounded terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that I was... just started! <laughs> Plonk is your name, correct? A Verdun. Quite rare. Interesting. You, Plonk, have something of mine, and I believe I have something of yours. Do we all see her, like, acting? Just looking like, around, like, what the... I mean, I don't, I'm still... <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, uh, passive uh, perception for you, um, and I believe Zoxa, too. You, I'm gonna I got oh, your, your ritual casting. Yes, yeah, you yes. wouldn't, yeah. I'm gonna so put the notice? coffee down. You can see that she's, like, looking around, kind of weird. Oh, I'm just going gonna, on? I'm just gonna put the coffee down. No, I'm definitely asking you. Oh, what's going on? I, I don't know. I want back what is mine. And I will take it. It wants it. It wants back what what I have. What? What does? What are you talking about? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. I want to see if I care. I don't. Know. <laughs> oh my god! I, I gotta I gotta figure out what Manny is saying. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I don't what know. it? It just said I I want I want back. It's mine. I I want it back. I and the last anything. thing you hear, I'm coming for you. It's coming for me. <laughs> 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 I just thought of a meme. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Wait, so we're all in the same thing still? Everyone's everyone's very close to each other. You're all in like um, one of the main hallways of the <laughs> ship. Um, the three of you and these two and uh, Bernadette are kind of off to one side. And then Manny and Zoxa are down the like, hall, uh, maybe okay. like 20, 30 feet away. And ha Manny's uh, hammering at the wall, but still like every once in a while looking down at the book. So he's not really paying attention. He's got the hammer of the sand. He's like, a bite of the sandwich. <laughs> Looking down at the... Um, Jesus. Um, am I able to actually hear any of what's going on? Or am I too focused uh, on this? Generally, when you're casting a ritual, you are aware of your surroundings, but you're not... You can't focus on what's going on. So you, Fair. you, you if, if there was like a battle going on, you would absolutely know there's a battle going on and you could break your concentration and take care of it. But with this, they're just talking and whatever. It, you're, it's kind of like you hear muffled voices and whatever. Okay, Fair. Do I hear anything? I, oh, yeah, I yeah, tried to do I tried to do I my telepathy. Care what's going on. Right? Probably not. I tried to do my telep my <laughs> my telepathy <laughs> uh to to talk to Manny and it didn't work. And it hasn't been working. And I thought it was just the cave that we were in, 
to when we were um, fighting the people, but it wasn't just the cave. There's something in me, and it just spoke to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in me. It I just spoke it. to me. Zero to hundred, like so quick. <laughs> I, I spoke was, to you. What do you I mean? Was, spoke to you. I don't know. You know how I do my telepathy, and I can talk to somebody in their head. Um, sure. Well, do, do it was that like that. <laughs> it was I like mean, I that. I have it written down. There was. I know. A different so voice. To you instead. Yeah. And they said she's just gonna like slowly. Back. And they said they're gonna kill me. <laughs> she just slowly, slowly back away from love. How? Wait, I'm gonna go over. To, can I go over to Zaxa? She's like, she's now right. sitting on the I floor. I feel as though the it's <laughs> going to kill me is enough to yeah. alert me. You're you're at the point where you are like maybe five to ten seconds away from finishing this ritual, but you hear that at the same time. So, uh, uh, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? She, she, <laughs> oh, Zaxa! Zaxa! You uh, see, Bernadette is now, she's not looking back and forth at you. She's looking back and forth at you like, what is going on with them? These are your friends. Uh, not my this friends. This is really awkward. <laughs> yes, a bit. Um, I, I, listen, they, they propositioned me. I was, I was doing my job. That's all I was Pluck. doing. Plunk. Look at me. Did you recognize... <laughs> Did you recognize the voice? No! Crying. I have no Just <laughs> crying. Well, that's crying. all I got. <laughs> <laughs> it said that it has something of mine, and I have something of it. What are you missing? It need. I don't know. <laughs> What did you just say wasn't working? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. It's fantastic. How, how did you come up with that? <laughs> I don't know. My telepathy is gone. Since when? I don't know. I thought it was just a cave, but... I guess it's been gone before that, but I haven't tried to use it. But I thought it was the cave, and now I tried to do it again to talk to Manny, and it didn't I, work. So I guess it wasn't what, the cave. Wait, Can I just stop, take my little hand I, and, like, put it over her yes, mouth? Yes. Like, just... <laughs> Thank, yeah, yeah, it just keeps talking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which cave? The cave when we were with Minerva to get, um... The assassin. When was the last time you actually used it effectively? <laughs> do, 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 uh, do, it's do, been do. a while. It has been a while. It was like. A while. It was like right. It was. <laughs> when we were on. When we were on the ship. The the ship with all of the stuff on it. Kravikov's ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the last time, I think. And when was that? That was right, pretty much right after you left the uh, the, the Great the Inferno. No, what's the, the Inferno, whatever. The, uh, the, we yeah, went to the Chaos. The element of Chaos, yeah. Taken in. Yeah. We, we ran back, got on the ship, and then went left. And then as we yeah. saw the ship coming. So that's, that's the last time I was able to use it. Yeah. It was after that whole situation. It was like right at yeah, right after. So since we've been here. Yeah. But then but then I so I haven't been able to do it, and then now I tried to do it, and then I, I was thinking about why I couldn't do it anymore. And I heard a voice in the back of my head <clears throat> talking to me. It was, it's very similar to um, when you when you reach out to someone with yeah. your telepathy, uh, and they respond back. You got the same. You it was the same. Yeah. As if if that telepathy was being used. Yeah. Has that ever happened before? No. Usually when people answer, they don't know what's going on, so they just say it out loud. 
Facts. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's accurate. That's that makes perfect sense, but is also hilarious. <laughs> the only Just all time... of a sudden... The that's only, a good point. The only time it's really like happened was when it was like with my family because we all had it. You said they they had something of yours, but you have something of theirs. Yeah. What and what they, do you have that's new? And then new? they said that they were coming for me. That I don't care. <laughs> what do, what do you have that's new? Can I go like? Can I, oh, like do the I'm frosty thing. Blast the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Little burst. Man, man, he's stuck to hit him. Man, man, he fixed. Man, he fixed. I have the the cold stuff. Uh, that's probably it. Did you get? When did you find out that you had the cold powers? I have notes on that. No, oh, actually, lies. Didn't she get it when she came out of the thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she yeah. did. But I well, don't want to do medicate. Do you guys still not that. know who it, who was talking to me? No. Why would we? Why would we know who was talking? Right now? I know Christina knows. I one hundred percent know who it is. Yeah. Why? Why would we know? Would They're we talking know? to you. Yeah. It's fair. It's just kind of context clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Putting pieces together. Yeah. I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not trying not to put that it together. Right, so. I'm trying to put it together in character, so I'm trying to not yeah. put it together here. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm doing a yeah. good job. That's fair. No um, medicating. I'm also doing a good job of not, like, yeah. <laughs> telling yes. you. So, Bernadette, she, like, got, um, she got the cold powers after she exited the, the sphere, because she yeah. used them almost immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you lost your telepathy after that. Yeah, mm-hmm. after I used it. Right. After I used the cold. No, you, you had it after you used the cold. Because you had yeah. it after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think that those two necessarily correlate. What about what's a face? Do I'm in character. Yeah, no, I know. What about <laughs> no. what's a face? Do we know that he talks to him? I don't know. What? Oh, is Azeel? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I don't think she's really mentioned it to anyone, so I, I don't think so. That was the only thing I feel like she She just like, kind of talked about, like, that. her boss. Yeah. But. I just like, she he... said, she said something to me. I don't know if she said it was. Oh, I think she, I don't think she talked about, like, uh, the dreams and all that, but she definitely talked about Azaziel being, uh, an angel, a solar. And the fact that <clears> she <throat> was told that I can't go back to my planet for very long. Correct. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. Now I know what it is. I didn't <laughs> want to know what it was. Well, maybe. You're right. Maybe you're wrong. We'll find out. Um, it doesn't matter. Because I, Zoxa doesn't know. Right. Yeah. Bernadette at this point is like, um, should we maybe let them discuss their issues? And, uh... It seems like a person. Maybe we could catch up. It has been some time. Mm, I would enjoy that. A drink, perhaps? Of course. So you don't know... The two of them that we'll head off. <laughs> you don't know who's talking to you. No. But they want to come find you. To kill me. To kill you. Yeah. They said they want to kill you. They said that I have something that they have, and I... <laughs> Can you not... <laughs> No, Manny's no, please, just, Manny's please standing please there just listening. Have, you, you're I all talking together, and all of a sudden you're all just like, <laughs> Manny's just standing there. I have something that, that they want, and they'll do anything to get it back. <clears throat> That's what they said, right? <laughs> Similar. Close enough. Essentially, uh, it's essentially the, the voice said, you have something of mine, and I'm coming for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We have no leads. I'm just gonna hug the for Minerva. <laughs> we have no leads for whatever this is. We have no leads for anything. The only thing that I see that is possible 
is to meet up with this thing. Because they're going to come for you. And if they can talk to you, I'll bet they know where you are. And that is where we're going to end. Oh! <laughs> so, we will be back next week, 7 p.m. Sarah will be with us again. Um, Priya will be away, um, but Priya should be joining us the following week. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next week. Um, and uh, Andy, we have a winner, right? For the... Yes, we do. Uh, okay. I'm getting that uh, info. Let me see here. We got... Uh... Nat Geo Girl, congratulations! Uh, just send us an email, uh, and we will uh, get your in your info, your size, your color option, and uh, we'll get that sent out to you. So, congratulations on the t-shirt win. Other than that, have a great night. Thanks so much for watching.